very exciting. Today is the big one zero zero. We go into triple digits today. So I'm recording from the beginning. Let's see who else here. I think there's two people here. Jim and Carl. Let's let him in. Let's get this party started. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, Carl. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hi, Jim. Hello. So, so you finished washing your hands? Yeah, it took me a little bit. Um, you know. The blood is off. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about that, but I think I think they're clean now. Out damn spot. <laughs> Out damn spot. You guys all know we're recording. Yeah. <laughs> I have to click a button. What that refers to anybody who's watching this video is that oh. on my when you're trying to get into Zoom and, it, and I don't let you in right away, it has a message. It says, I'm washing my hands for, what is it, 22 seconds or something it says. Something like that. Okay, ready, let's go. <laughs> I'm all started, I'm all ready for you guys. Oh, damn spot. That was uh, Lady Macbeth talking to her dog. <laughs> to get out. Get out. So, here we go. Here comes two more. Imagine standing out in the driveway talking to that calico cat. <laughs> well, go intervene. Make sure she's not talking to something bad. She shouldn't be talking to strangers. Talking about our cats. Hi, Adrian. Oh, look at Brian. Terry. Hi, you guys. What are you wearing? Are those pajamas? How cute. What is on those? Oh, look at the size of Brian's hair. Look how long his hair is. We're, they're onesies. Oh, aren't they cute? Brian, whoa, your hair. It's my COVID look. <clears throat> it's my, I'm still afraid to go to the hairdresser look. I'm getting my second booster tomorrow. I just made my appointment. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I said, well, oh. I think it's approved. So if they let me, I'll go. So Mark just made his too. You don't have enough microchips, eh? No, <laughs> my reception's been bad. <laughs> I have to go about eight miles away. They don't have any appointments near me, but yeah, really, I know. Yeah. I thought that was surprising too, but yeah, yeah. I'm finally about to get my uh, my first booster. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I got my second shot back in August. Oh, so you had to wait. Uh, well, for November, December, well, I could January. have gotten it. I could have got it in January, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, because they said five five, five months. months four yeah. to five months yeah that's yeah. when i got mine oh. ah. or february february 1st i think yeah well if you could make your appointment now that you can i guess i just signed on to cvs.com and first i went to like my health like you know the, the state site and stuff and i said i'll just try to cvs and it asked is this your second booster and i was like okay i guess they know what's going on Terry, you've been gone for a long time. I Welcome have. back. Thank you. You're up in Maine, weren't you? Yeah, I was in Maine taking care of our oldest kitty who was sick for oh, yeah. about six months. And, well, yeah. tell, tell Brian to change or you can change your name on the screen so everybody knows who you are. So, <laughs> so you were somewhere close to my sister who lives in Maine. Where oh, in Maine? part of Maine? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Booth, Booth Bay Harbor. Does that mean yeah. anything? About 45 minutes uh, south of there, yeah. Um, I have a good friend that lives in um, Old Town, Maine. So that's way up, that's a lot farther. Yeah, much much higher up. I've been wanting, I'm dying to go to Maine. I hear it's beautiful and I've never been there. It is beautiful, it's peaceful. Oh, that's, that's, that's way far up uh, near Bangor actually, which is... Mm -hmm. Farther than where we are, and farther than Bar Harbor, uh, Booth Bay Harbor, rather. Does she live in Booth Bay Harbor year round, or? Yeah. Is that her permanent? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we've sailed into there many times. Hmm. So where are you right now? We're uh, in Devon, Massachusetts, near uh, right off, right over the Boston line. Mm -hmm. But um, we we have a place in Harpswell, Maine, which is near Brunswick, Bowdoin College area mm -hmm. of Maine. Put your legs down, Maggie wants to. Kind of 45 minutes north of Portland. Hi, Maggie. Mm -hmm. Are we getting a kitty? The kids are joining. Yeah, one of the kids anyway. She looks yeah. just like, oh, well, from what I can tell so far, looks just like my Ariadne, who's sleeping. In the really? You have one that looks like, like this one? I think so. Let me see what she looks like. The back, yeah. Well, all I see is a black cat. She's a tuxedo, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mine's got Pretty a little girl. bit of different markings on the feet, but it looks like they've just been dipping their paws in wet paint. Exactly. That's exactly it. Ariadne? Oh, She's gonna gonna wear, mine's got a white nose. Yeah, she has like a half a half a white mustache, just like half. The other half's not. And here comes Carl's, who's got who's got mm. his too. I remember hearing something about superstition resulting in people killing totally black cats, but sparing ones that had a little bit of some other color. Well, oh, they're yeah. hard. You know, they're hard to people won't adopt black cats because of that superstition they're actually hard to adopt not oh. necessarily ones with white but the totally black ones mm -hmm. yeah my son That's sterling funny. went intentionally to go get a fully black cat and i think it is fully black because he, he wanted something that he thought that people would definitely not get hmm. yeah <laughs> I, I think that's great i mean yeah. you know how silly right but <laughs> yeah it's funny you, how those those that it's true they have a lot of black cats. and you should try Try to find an apartment on the 13th floor. <laughs> you can in some countries, just not in America. Canada is the same way, right, Adrian? Oh. Yeah. Some yes. of the buildings have 13 well, floors. Here, here we don't have four or 13 because of the high Asian population. Four? Yeah. If you go into the hotels here in Calgary, oh. most of them do not oh. have a fourth floor or a 13th floor. I never heard of that. Yeah, four so, apparently in Chinese sounds very close to the word for death, I believe. Oh, no, I have heard that now yeah. that I think about it. Yeah, it had something to do with the word. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But, uh, but uh, federal government buildings have uh, 13 floors. Well, they better. We can't... Unless they're a private building. Yeah. Hi, Kyle. Well, all those floors are going to be unlucky anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's just silly. There is a floor. I mean, if you've got more than 13 floors in your building, I mean, you yeah, have there's a 13th floor. It, yeah. There's a 13th floor. It's just not given the number 13. It's not like they leave a gap of building between 12 and 14. It's like, right, it's yeah, like yeah. a structure. <laughs> yeah. Nothing here to see. I've heard, that, here. I've heard that in some buildings, they put some sort of, um, um, oh, air conditioning, heating stuff, uh, stuff that oh. doesn't. Uh, 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 on the floor above the 12th. <laughs> so you wouldn't have uh, yeah. like a yeah, reason to buy that. it. Or, I could see that. I think we should have buildings that are all sure. 13. Why, why not just give each floor a letter instead of a number? <laughs> now you're thinking. Ooh, oh, that's really com that's complicated, yeah. especially when you get over 26. Well, then you yeah. have floor AA. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Jeez. I don't think you want to SS. No. Okay. So, so nobody well, would someone floor, get the white. So nobody would live on that floor M. M My for mezzanine. For mezzanine. Oh. <laughs> mezzanine. For, uh, M or for L for lobby. <laughs> M, M is M is the thirteenth uh, letter. Oh, oh, I was thinking of it. Mezzanine. Yeah. <laughs> or garage G for garage. Yeah. Or L. They wouldn't have those on the thing because everyone yeah. would be like, you know, well, the garage. Well, you could you, you could start with the ground floor being zero if you want it. Uh, yeah, if you know how to count correctly as a computer scientist, that is what you do. Yeah, that is true. It is weird in the UK, I believe it's they have a first floor, which is yes. There was a, there was a guy talking about it's so hard to move his furniture into his house because he's on the first floor. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it has always that flummoxed me for a very long time too. With that, no, that's not so. There's a ground floor than a first floor. Yeah, it's like nobody's in charge of these things. It's like nobody's in charge. Just it's like nobody's just in charge. Stuff up. And the basement being the negative first floor. <laughs> like it. Actually, I was 
that's the see, the building was, let's see, the ground floor was marked zero. The one floor, one up was that was marked two, three, four. And then, and then, and then the basement parking was minus one. Now, if it was minus one, zero, one, two, three, that would be the sensible way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, in a parking garage where I used to work, the floors in the parking garage had half numbers because the staggered way the garage worked. Mm -hmm. So you'd have like P01, P00. So the, the lowest level was P00. We called that the poo level. The poo? P00, <laughs> then P01, and then P10, P11. Okay. Are Brian and Terry dressed in matching blouses? Are you country western dancers? No, they're not blouses. They're 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 onesie pajamas. Oh, okay. They're jammies. So well, you guys are connected. My wife and I used to dress like that. When we country <laughs> western dancers. We're dancer. disgusting. That's what it is. We're disgusting. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I think it's adorable. <laughs> I wonder what the theme will be for Psycon this year. Anybody, if anybody's interested. I haven't asked, but I wish I had asked so I could say something, but no. What is the theme? The Halloween I don't party. know. I'm wondering what it is. He's had disco. He's had the 70s, oh, the that. 60s, the 50s. It just uh, gets people in trouble. Uh, twice twice it did, of the three times I went. Ah, no, nobody was <clears throat> OK. <laughs> Brian and Terry, I am curious about uh, about what the pattern is on there. So, so, so just speak up so that you show up on the speaker screen. <laughs> Oh, you mean the pattern of these things? Yeah, the, the pattern on your Pinum. cats. Cats. Oh. oh, I thought they were like little microbes or something. No, no, no. no. They're, we all see different cats. things. I saw rocket ships. Oh, wait. If you want to see the little microbes here. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, really good oh, webcam. Oh, huh? I can see them really there. Really good webcam. Hi, now, Bob. Some, Hi, Ben. Brian and Terry, for some reason, when you spoke up, I did. I, I didn't see your screen cut could come up. <laughs> you got to pen. You should I, pin them, Ben, if you want to see somebody in person, uh, like close yeah, up. Pin. You have oh, to okay. hit pin. So I see cats wearing little hats. Are they Christmas <laughs> cats? Yeah. There's. Well, I think there's cats oh, wearing there. like scarves. Oh, okay. Here's a scarf. They're winter cat. cats. Okay. One with the cat. Oh, the cold hat. cats. Cool cat. They're cool, cool cats. Cat. The Santa hat. I don't know if you see that yes. one. Yeah, they're, just, they're all just. Just cat. Got to do the cat thing, you know. Hot dogs and cool and cold cats. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, now that I've got you pinned, I can see. Oh, Peggy's coming. Ooh, it's her birthday. Ooh, you know what that means? We got to sing it to her off key, just like we always do. <laughs> Maybe hey, I have right superpowers. Down. Yep, you've got you've got the superpowers <laughs> today. So, um, Jim, you might want to put everybody on gallery. That way, you can see everybody. Full. That's, oh, Terry I, just said it's her birthday too in chat. Hello, oh, is it chat. seriously? Happy birthday, birthday people! Oh, we're gonna have. We're gonna have oh, Terry. happy birthday, Terry! I think Peggy was yesterday. <laughs> yes, isn't Terry. that a paradox? Why do I have two Terrys? That's so great you're gonna be here I for a reason Terry's. that you can't know about until we get later into the game. Uh oh. What? Nothing. Nothing. Have, okay. I'm double. in charge of everything today. No, no, no. Just Peggy, not not Terry. But we'll definitely have a, a birthday. <laughs> there you go. That's perfect. Okay. Um, oh, here comes Leonard. Leonard, good. He needs mm -hmm. to be here. Okay. He's got a brand new hip, right? He does. He's a new. He's person. hip to be square. Uh, <laughs> we should also. Is a song? In that yeah. song, I, really, uh, I, I am uh, yeah. I am fully hipped. He's hip. He's hip now. I'm doubly hipped or fully yeah. hipped or and something. Hipped. Fully hipped sitting to up. To be square. Yeah. Yes, I'm no. I'm last week I was lying down. This mm -hmm. week I'm I'm uh, sitting where I normally would be. I I can walk without I can walk without a cane. Yeah. Nice. Um, although I was told I shouldn't. Um, just because. The worst thing that could happen now is falling. The fall again, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but when you walk with a cane, your arm goes uh, at the same time as the leg on that side, so it it throws the whole gait off. Um, so it's it's a little weird, but I'm I'm astounded at how 
yeah. uh, rapid the improvement is. It's better than it was when I did the other app. Wow. I wonder why. Would, would you be better off uh, having two canes? A walker. You used to walk walker for a while, didn't you? Yeah, I used, used to walker for 10 days. Yeah, I was thinking even like hiking poles, right? You got, then you yeah. can balance yourself. Yeah, um, maybe. Uh, but I'm just going to, uh, I'm supposed to use the cane for another week or so. Um, and then I'll just ditch them. My dad but was it's... really good with his cane, man. He, he hit people and he pulled <laughs> things towards them and picked things up off the floor. And well, the, the, the advantage <laughs> of the advantage of this is mm -hmm. now I can sit on the porch and shake this at people and tell them. <laughs> oh, oh, my Lord. Lord. oh my Lord. I love your porch. I want your porch. I want a porch. I mean, I have so a porch, but it's not a porch like your porch. Your porch is nice. Is, Hi, it, is it hollow can, and have liquor inside? It does. It is <laughs> not. Sword. Um, oh, Jeff and Julie are coming. <laughs> it's it's collapsible, so it oh. comes apart. Uh huh. And oh, it's up. like my walking mm. sticks. Yeah. Does it come with a top hat? Ooh, like nunchucks. <laughs> like oh, nunchucks. My goodness. This is like Kingsman. Cool. So how do you yeah. shoot the dart? Yeah. The yeah. Of daggers in it. <laughs> There's there's a there's dart. a there's a button, but it doesn't seem to uh, fire anything. Uh, <laughs> you had to pay for the upgrade. You didn't pay for the upgrade. Uh, apparently not. Fantastic. Then it's really great when you point it at the kids and yeah. say, "Get off my lawn." Get off my lawn. <laughs> what if one of them just collapses in the front? Okay. Oh, First one's a warning. Second one's a dart. Yeah. Yeah. I remember at least one fictional character who, after getting injured got a cane that had a sword inside it <laughs> so, yeah. right. i think that's i think that's cool but i don't think it would break apart really easy you'd have to have a dagger or something in the top part only uh, those are illegal in many places ah, it's illegal schmiegel hey, uh, so, so there was a discussion that um i should get a custom-made cane that has the uh ball of the femur that was removed Oh. Of a cane. Oh. Oh. that would be cool that would be awfully <laughs> cool um, i think you should get one like randy had but then i polish. then i looked into what they actually do to the femur and stuff um and it would be better to just 3d print something oh. <laughs> so peggy you had a birthday yesterday give us your wisdom give it to terry whose birthday's today Happy Terry, birthday to you, Terry. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. I, I, I had a big piece. How about you? I had, um, well, I was very lucky. My, <laughs> my, work, my work team started cake last week. We had one last week and we had one yesterday. Oh, it's so been a week I long party. Like I got caked. <clears throat> cake is You're good. You know, when you get to a certain age and there's not that much to look forward to when you have a birthday cake is always there i heard the cake is a lie the cake is a what a lie cake is a lie cake is a lie that's a, a, that's a, a video, game video game reference it's a video game reference oh sorry no wonder i didn't get it reference. particularly <laughs> did did I, how old I, was? I got it carl <laughs> right over the head <laughs> you get it, yeah. right over the head and went cake. out the window <laughs> I understood that reference. How about this? How about this reference? Uh, Carl might get it. It's it's easy as a piece of cake. Easy as a piece of pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said piece of cake because he did it. No, come on, come on. Nobody, nobody. Ooh, I should use this. Use it's, it's, it's the Russian cake. character in in two thousand in twenty ten. The space artist. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he also quite. Kept getting English expressions wrong. Yeah, was when he was oh, talking to then now that makes sense. He got them a little bit wrong. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. No, what? <laughs> it's a piece of cake. Where's a piece of cake? I'll be good. Which was played by who? Carl? Carl? Come on. Who played him? Carl played him? Which, which, which? The Russian guy? Yes. Played that line. How do you know that I don't have a category in 2001? Oh, never mind. Okay, don't. Well, this is 2010. It's the, it's the yeah. sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that would be. Want to know? Say, uh, uh, Adrian and Jim is Vincent joining us tonight or not? Oh, I don't know. 
he should be. He just well, there's be. there's only like five or six people in Calgary, oh. so you all right. so you should know what <laughs> oh, all of the rest of them are doing. Avi's not here right now, is he? No. Uh, last week when I uh, found out I was supposed to go to Boston last week and I was going to go to the SGU uh, right. extravaganza, etc. And I found out my son and his wife potentially had COVID the day before I was supposed to leave. So I had to cancel all my plans. So I had these tickets I needed to, to give away. So I went on the SGU Discord <clears throat> and said, hey, look, you know, I've got these tickets. I'm from Calgary. I can't go. And then <laughs> this, you know, everyone's under the your your what do you call them usernames and i'm hip hippopotamuse and somebody else different name said hey you're from calgary do you know adrian hill <laughs> 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 and and oddly said, enough, yes you i know her very well <laughs> and then, yeah, i said yeah i know her really well it's me and it turned out it was avi uh, or avi and it, but anyway somebody else was saying what is there like 10 people in Calgary? What's going on? Because another person piped up and said, Hey, I'm from Calgary too. And the other person piped up and said, I'm from Alberta. So it was it was really funny <laughs> how, how everyone thought that it was uh but well there can't be that many people up there. <laughs> we can't have that many people. Not, not many at all. There's like Hi, what a hundred, two hundred? Well, like that. Hi, that's, in the, Hi, that's in the whole Hi. province. Hi. Yeah. What what was that, Leonard? There's a hundred, like in the whole province. Yeah, whole province, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll have to come up and visit to see. What, Texas? Yeah. I've been to Calgary a couple of times. I, nice. like, I want to go to Calgary. Oh, Calgary's <laughs> great. The mountains, we've got the mountains uh, an hour and a half away. And, uh, we could go this summer. We have the, in the hour and a half the other direction. We have uh, Drumheller, which has one of the best museums with dinosaurs. If you like dinosaurs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I can take them or leave them. Oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're sitting on your lap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it oh, time, Dan? I'm ready to start. There I've already go. started dividing you guys up. Ramiro will be here soon. He's on so a podcast downstairs. Okay. He's on a podcast? Oh, cool. What's he being uh, interviewed for? Well, it's one of his favorite ones called Decoding the Gurus. So I guess they called on him. And so he's talking downstairs and fanboying out right now. So he's fanboying out. He should be here. Mm -hmm. This is where the fanning is needs. No, so, like he's majorly fanboying out because they, oh. they like kind of rate and talk about like Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, all that <coughs> kind of, Yeah, that's his. Let me let me Thanks. tell you, you guys are in the cool club right here. This is it. So that's what I try to just, tell them. Just try you just because it's normalized for you all now. It's like this is this is the cool club, you know. So if you had a Patreon, maybe we would support you too. I have a nonprofit, you could support me. <laughs> I just don't beg for money. I mean, we've we've got um uh five or two conversations mm -hmm. and we've got uh the skeptic zone and we've got uh, uh, the data skeptic. Mm -hmm. We've got multiple podcasts here. Yes, that's right. Is Richard here? Is Richard? I'm just, uh, I can see Richard. just yeah. texting him, believe it or not. Yeah, I just mm. did the same. Mm. Tell him so it's no number 100 tonight. I did, I just told oh. him it's game 100, yeah. So you, should, you, you should just walkie talkie him. <laughs> Do you, still, do you still do that? that I, he hasn't done that for a while. So, you know, kinda. thankfully. <laughs> there should be a cake. So, Can nobody we... got my trivia question. So, the answer was John Lithgow playing a Russian. No. John Lithgow did not play the Russian. No. John Lithgow was the American. I thought he did. No. Then, why did he say piece of cake? He was talking, him and the Russian were conversing and one was correcting the other so here's a conversation maxim burkowski piece of pie walter kernow who's who's that's john lithgow no piece of cake it's a cake maxim says easy as cake and walter says no easy as pie so they went back and forth it was very weird Hi, Avi. Okay. <laughs> there it was kevin like they both weren't sure now that i read it well it is 2001 i mean it was way in the future oh, 2010. 2010. 2010. 2010. 2010. oh there's 2010. avi 
Hi, Avi. A little sprout. I was sprout. talking about you, Avi. Our little sprout. <laughs> about what happened on the Discord. That was so funny. Oh, yeah. That, that was really funny. Is Sarah going to join us now that she's out in California? Or are they um, on their way here? She um, has apparently her own friend group that is there, does tr their own trivia thing every Thursday night. So I don't know. Some Hi, people. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, don't they know that this is specially reserved for us? <laughs> yeah. We're the only ones allowed to have Thursday. Thursday. Nobody's allowed to do anything else on Thursdays. You got to tell those Bay Area skeptics that keep having their meetings. In. They have, yeah, well, they they've have been have doing Thursday nights Thursday. forever. It's once they're going to have to change that, obviously. Oh, hi, Deborah. I didn't see you there. <laughs> okay, I'm making sure you I got you guys sunlight. in your little spots. Yeah. Well, see now, now you could have just done it totally random because no, no, no. You know, there's nobody else running a counter. No, I have certain, mm. I have a criteria here. Mm. I'm waiting for a few more to join so I can single you guys out better. There is a method to her madness. Yes, there is actually. Because I got it all done and it's all planned. And I even wrote more categories. Like I needed more categories and I died. I'm trying to get Adrian to go. Um, yeah, you have more categories in DC with just me. In case you do a category. That How do we talk Adrian into DC going to DC? Up? Making my airline reservations tomorrow, Adrian. Just just letting you know. Okay, well, send me the dates and I tomorrow can... I'm going to make the reservations tomorrow. No, I mean, what dates you're going? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. No, knowing well, you just gave me sort of a general. I have to be there on the 28th of April. And I was thinking of going to 27th. I want to go to Ford's Theater. I wonder, mm. if it, I wonder if it's open. Let me see. Let me see here. I've been meaning to, because I went years ago when Sterling was six, when I went to DC for the first time. Oh. It was incredible. What's Ford's Theater? We're, we're, uh, oh, no. Bobby, really? Really? <laughs> it's really amazing. <laughs> it is no, amazing because they put it's a trivia at, question. Don't answer that. No, they put us up where the um, right next to the booth, so it was like maybe you know the, a few the John Wilkes booth. Oh, is are you talking? Oh, Ford's Theater, where we're we're we're, we're, we're kind of legally the assassinated, theater. right? Yeah. Okay. If you believe the official story, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said DC. I thought you said DC, which was confusing me because that I didn't know of any like Ford Theater in DC. Too soon, man. Too as, soon. As an aside from that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Yeah. <laughs> so it was really neat. We watched the we watched a play called Eleanor, which was about Eleanor Roosevelt. It was a musical, and um, they have the booth still right there, all decorated and everything. And it was just right in our line of sight most of the time. And it was very close. It was it was it was kind of surreal. For coming from California, it felt like wow, I just walked into something pretty amazing. Presumably out of good taste, they don't call it the John Wilkes booth. <laughs> <laughs> but, I've, but I've been back to D.C. two more times and I've gone by and it's always packed with school kids. Mm -hmm. So you can't get a ticket on the but day. It's in D.C.? Yeah. That's where Lincoln that. was assassinated, right? Well, I knew he was assassinated there, but I didn't think it was actually in D.C. I, I, I mean, I figured it would be yeah, near there. But like, I you think it would be. Pres presidents moved around a lot those days and it was really hard to tell where anything was. If you if you so, weren't really read into the history, oh my gosh, Ugh, they're all sold out. Uh, let me see. Darn it! It's a historical visit site visit. Gee, let me see if the Thursday. Why am I have to really plan this ahead of time? Thursday the twenty eighth. Historical site visits. Is that all they have here? And the post office museum. I love going there. Mm -hmm. and um so i want to go a little early so that i can see maybe they don't have anything playing maybe that's what's going on there's no movie or anything i mean a, a, anything like that maybe that's why it's all sold out just as historical site visits like i guess you get a little tour of the place hmm. well there's plenty like to do in dc there, yeah, there is plenty. Oh, and um, nighttime to go see the uh, uh, memorial. 
Yeah, um, uh, Chip that's Denham, my favorite memory. Yeah, Chip, Chip Denman and his wife Grace took me there last time I was there at night and to go see the Vietnam Veterans Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial at night. It's really, mm -hmm. it's, it's packed. I was surprised. So I'm really curious. I'd like to see that again. The Korean War Memorial at night would be really powerful. The Vietnam one where they're walking through the the yeah, the, the, the ice Korean plant. one. The, yeah, the Korean one is is uh, I don't really the something. Korean one. It's it's relatively new. Mm. Um, it's it's really uh, quite a setup. I don't know if I've seen that. Um, I'm missing it. Anyway, so I think we're about to start. Da, 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 da. Oh, look, here comes Mark. Look at, look at him. 100! Oh, you <laughs> yeah. oh, do that, Mark. Oh. What's that? Very That's nice. Sweet. That is very sweet. I, I'm, I'm surprised there's not cake. Seriously. There should be cake. There Don't look at me. <laughs> I, I have cake. Yeah, Terry's got cake. cake. It's Carrie's birthday. Let them eat 100 is 100. 100 is a pie. Isn't that sweet? So it's 100. Also, Susan, my dad is Thanks, uh, might be coming late and leaving early because he has to help my mom get ready for a bunch of shows that she's doing this weekend. Oh, so. fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Would this, would this be a reasonable substitute for cake? <laughs> oh, Jim's sure. cookies are so good. Mm. I yeah. oh, pass them around. I miss that Jim book club with Jim's cookies. <laughs> that <what> it's called? <laughs> There's they're my all, they're really good. Moon there pie. Go, Rob. That's, that's it. How appropriate for you, Rob. A moon mm -hmm. pie. Yum. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is your background, Rob? Uh, that's Coruscant. Okay, cool. I should have recognized it, but I think your head was off to the side and I couldn't see the dome. The dome is the more recognizable to oh, me. Oh, Korean, the Korean War is the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, it's really amazing at night. They've got these lights that are just just strategically placed. If anybody hasn't seen the Korean Memorial, it's it's really, boy, creepy. It's something, it's something. Yeah. So I, what, the Vietnam Memorial is the wall. Okay, that's it's the what, wall. yeah, yeah. It's okay. the wall that okay. goes down. Okay. There's a traveling oh, one. Oh wow! Kind of our area. I gotta remember that. I've, I've seen the I'm traveling like... one. So if if you want to uh, uh, if you want to leave really depressed, you can go to the Holocaust Memorial Museum. Your dad, oh, your dad yeah. helped uh, make that, right? Yeah, um, that's uh, that's an incredibly powerful experience. I've been to the one in in L.A. twice. Right when it opens, it was fresh, and boy, that was. Mm -hmm. It, it's important to go, but I didn't do the DC one. Uh, if when, you go to the DC one, do it where there's a day where there's, I don't know if they're going to be doing it because of COVID, but go when there's a lot of people. Oh, is it a little less? There's, um, it is, but we went on, a, I've been twice, um, but they, they start your experience in the museum by um, putting everybody in a giant elevator together to mimic what it feels like that they were all crammed into the yeah. train cars. And you are literally on top of one another. And they take you to the top and you walk your way through everything. And it's I've been to it twice and it's very, still very moving to go through some of it. I went to maybe, with, maybe uh, not a great idea during COVID to be drinking. Yeah, not a great idea during COVID. <laughs> we went with, but, I, I took Sterling and, and Caspian and, and hmm. my, uh, then when we went and I didn't, Sterling and I went to the zoo. I felt like it was he was too young. I think he was seven or six. Yeah, but Caspian so and my ex-husband and my, uh, well, he wasn't my ex-husband at the time, my mom, they went to the museum and there it was, and anyway, it's important. Okay, so we're about to start. Let's not start on a, a today's our hundredth anniversary or hundredth game, game hundred. Not that we, you know, means all that much in, I mean, it's not game, that we're counting, you know? Not that we're counting or anything like that. I think I'm gonna have to rearrange things. I don't know where this person is, but they haven't shown up yet. Janine's coming. Oh gosh, yeah, where is she at? Janine's just checking in. She's, yeah, she's, she's connected. Okay. Yeah. Let me text one person real quick. Here. Gosh. That light goes in too. Oh, there, yeah, I see it. She couldn't find her. 
<clears throat> okay, so um, we've got all kinds of fun things. I suppose some fun things planned for today. I'm not as clever as you all, but uh, with your categories and stuff. So um, let's hope you guys enjoy the game. But it's all done. It's all organized. Everything's decided. So that's kind of the fun part is being able to have it. We should be able to go faster because there's, I know what I'm doing here with um, everything's done. So I'm going to put you in your rooms. Hi, Janine. I'm going to put you in your rooms. Oh, just, oh, I, sh I should grab some paper and pencil. <laughs> yeah, it might be a good idea. Well, first you're just going to do game room names. So it's not so bad. Ooh, here we go. Let's see. Now let me make sure I put you guys where I've already decided I want you. I've got to just move the people into them. Okay, so this one's going to have, okay, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> hmm. Move to two. There she is. Okay. Oh, you're already there. Okay. Three. Okay. <clears throat> You're not talking amongst yourselves. Try not to distract you. I'm talking, about <laughs> you. talking to myself. <laughs> Zoom isn't telling me that my connection is unstable so far. Well, that's a good thing. Okay, your connection or you are. Are, are you trying to pick at your at your clover, Avi? No, my hands are talking to each other. Uh, that, that's, that's uh, yeah. Amongst himself. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did anyone else uh, watch episode one of Moon Knight yet? Who? No. Yeah. Not yet. Really? Cool. Uh -huh. what, what, what's, what's a Moon Knight? Moon Knight is the new oh. Disney Plus Marvel show. Oh. Hey, who's Cat's Eye Cat? Like is that, uh, I know. that, was that um, I liked it. Bob? That's Chick, Chick and Bob. Mm. Why have I not heard of this super killer hero? Oscar Isaac. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's, uh, that's the one played by Oscar Isaacs. He's, uh, it's very interesting, but it's really odd. He's got like associative personality disorder. So he doesn't, one of his personalities doesn't realize that he's a superhero. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's yeah. funny. Yeah. So, yeah wonder, so like he'll, wonder how he'll often lose, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he loses, you know, moments. And then, and then when he comes back, he has a gun in his hand and he has no idea where it came from. Oh, oh God. It's, it's kind of like that guy who couldn't room, he had short term memory loss and he would be running chasing somebody and then he'd realize or somebody was chasing him and then he all of a sudden realized that he was supposed to be chased you know he, he didn't know why he was being chased because it'd been like you know 30 seconds he'd already forgotten why <laughs> yeah it's it's interesting you because... to take pictures of everything or something oh, you're talking about which one is, memento. It? is that memento yeah. oh yeah memento. that might be or if that was memento or if there was a different movie that she was talking about memento was good yeah but uh uh, in this, Oscar Isaac has a, like a British accent, like in this particular personality. But then, other personalities talk to him, and they they don't have the accent, so it's kind of funny. It's 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 weird, but it's it's a good weird. It's fun. It's a good weird. Yeah, so, sounds like Moon Knight. Yeah. So the so, so the accent is how the audience can figure out which personality is at the moment. Sure. Yeah, I mean that's one way. Don't to do say it. anything else about it because it sounds. No, like I don't want to give too much away. I just wanted to give some of the fun things about it without actually giving away like plot and stuff. I hope everybody's finished project. Wait, this this is a this is a Marvel thing. Yes. How can it, yes. Why why does it have a plot? My copy of Hail Mary came into the library yesterday, and I just started it. This morning. Good. And this is audio, yeah. right? Or book? Book, right? Audio. Okay. That's weird that it comes has, in. Has anyone read or listened to Artemis? Because that's the other yeah. one that I'm contemplating. Oh. Yeah, it's good. It's not okay. as good, but it that is that one great. has had mixed reviews. Some people have not mm -hmm. liked that one. I would I would definitely I would definitely do it. But I think read. that might be my next book. Yeah, it's I've, great. I've heard that it, it wasn't as popular, but everyone that I know that has read it. I just liked it. I, I did like it. It just I wasn't. It, it wasn't. I, uh, really it. I haven't read Hail Mary yet. Well, Hail Mary. Right. Project yeah. Hail Mary is amazing. Project Hail Mary is fantastic. Mm -hmm. No spoilers. 
So I so I read The Martian, I read Artemis, and I've yet to read the Project Hail Mary. Well, yeah. hurry Project up. Project Hail Mary is probably I don't <laughs> know, is it, right is, it, is it is it the best? It's even better than the Martian. I think uh, it's better than the Martian. So? Yeah. The Martian is good because I did go back and listen to the Martian after Project Hail Mary. And that was fun because Will Wheaton does the Will Wheaton does the narration on, on the <laughs> audiobook. <laughs> Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Will is fine. And then since the, I guess the main character in Artemis is, is uh, a female. Uh, you're going to give something I'm away? Not, no, I'm not giving any spoilers. I'm just saying that the, because they're female, that one is uh, narrated by uh, Rosario Dawson. So I'm interested in listening to that and see how she does on it. You'll like it. Yeah, I would definitely say. Because the narration it's right up your on, area, Ali. like the story was great, but just the narration too on Project Hail Mary was, oh, amazing. It was amazing. Oh, the, yeah. Like I, I, so much that I want to look for don't, other don't. books narrated by that person. Yeah. Except that I felt like um, Ray, Ray Porter, whatever, most of the the voices he had for the women sounded very similar. And very similar, to- yeah. Okay. So. So we're going to your rooms. We're being sent to our rooms. Shoo, shoo. Be nice. Be kind to each other. Do that. What happened? Well, I saw on my screen at the top that the, we, you know, the countdown when you're going to have to Oh, maybe it was just somebody being admitted and I just misread yeah. it. Who's Flicka? I don't know who Flicka is. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah. Pika. 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 Have we had a Pika before? Don't know. So maybe that's who got let in, though. Yes, we did. All right. Well, Game number 95. They will make themselves known. I don't like this lighting. I'm too gray. Your hair, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change that. So Richard just got back to me and he's going, Oh, so hopefully he'll come. He's here. Oh, is he? Yeah, I just put Where him is in. He? Oh, you just put him in. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, he's here now. Well, yep. don't forget Terry and I are good for like two rounds if you need to put him into our room. No, no, I I've got I've got uh I got it taken care of. Yeah, no, I've got you down as a early, early to bed. Well, not really early to bed. Not really. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's on the East Coast to bed. They've, they've got a three-hour head start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Although Kevin stays for the entire time, and he's just south of us. But he's, he's just... So is Rob. They're just, you know... Crazy. They, I do it too. they stay. They stay. That's all right. Some people can... So I have a birthday coming up this Sunday. If anyone's interested, you can join online at a meetup. Vincent's having oh, a, a birthday? Put the link in the chat. Is there it's cake? Three. Is there cake? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> there's, cake wow. <laughs> there's cake for wow. us. <laughs> have, I'll, bake, I'll bake one. Yeah. Yeah. Vincent, Terry, and Peggy's birthday now. Mm-hmm. Anybody else having yeah. a birthday I should know about? God, we're all in yeah. a week. Yeah, that's yep. weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, fun. So it but, looks like uh, I may I may get to have a cup of coffee with James because uh, he's in Sacramento and uh, I'm taking Sarah out there uh, next week. I know. I was just thinking that you were on nice. your way here now. No, no. Uh, uh, on the 11th. But I'd really like it if you guys joined online if you if you want to. Would send us an invite. How do we find it? Yeah, uh, yeah. it's on Meetup meetup.com and it's uh vincent's 50th birthday oh Aww. 50 years this sunday at 4 p.m mountain this would be three so it would be three no, it'd be five. pacific five yeah, so yeah. it's five Whatever our time. time i'm confused uh, so no, what five, time is it? Five, what central, time is it now? Six, four, four o'clock, uh, mountain time. Yeah, that's so a three for be, us. Yeah, mm-hmm. All right. uh, six for New Yorkish. Correct. And well, okay. yeah, that's right. So Vincent, you don't think there's going to be a lot of Vincent's fiftieth birthday parties on Meetup? <laughs> you never know. 
Hey, Fika. Good be. Welcome back. Welcome back. Bounce around. Thank that you would be much. amazing. Welcome back. Oh, I've already oh, put cool. you. I put you in a room. You don't know you're in that room yet. Okay, um, sounds good. Is it Fika, right? Fika. 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 I will. I will Thank practice. <laughs> Long eye. Bye. Jackson. Oh, somebody just somebody just messaged me and said there's 60 today. So um, I won't say who it was. Well, we know I that know Terry's having is. a birthday today. Well, it, it must be me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fun. Okay. So today is a special day. As you guys know, it's game 100 and I'm running the whole thing myself. So this should be interesting because- Ah, uh, just like the old days. Yeah, just like yeah. the old days yeah. because the, the ability of having the power of knowing exactly what's coming up kind of helps a little bit because it makes it so it's, I don't know, it feels like it's a little easier to, to plan things, so. Especially when you're a control freak. Uh, yeah, not me <laughs> at all. I'm not control freak at all. So, so, uh, so for some of us, this will be the first one uh, ran yeah. the old way. It's yeah, this is how it started me. out um, on June in June of last two years ago. Oh my God, two years ago, wow. or something like that. Somebody tell me. Oh, there's there's the meetup. Okay, great. Thank you, Adrian. Yeah. Oh, so it, um, yeah. Is that on chat? Yeah. yeah, yeah, chat. yeah. Okay. Chat. I, don't I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so what's going on is um, this way we used to do it back in the old days, in the old days, is that meet up what the social social journey by Susan wasn't supposed to be a thing. It was supposed to be because Robin's little snotty daughter didn't <laughs> want us to play trivia with her because they were they were doing trivia online just at the beginning of the pandemic on a Tuesday. And she didn't like that we were chatting and we were boomers. And she said that. She told her mom, <laughs> yeah. boomers. And they yeah, just talked because, you know, we were talking, we were laughing and we we're having a good time. She would everybody be silent, you know, whenever the questions are being read and be silent and real studious about it. I was like, that's bullshit. You know, I don't want to play. I'm here to play. I want to have fun. I don't want to come here and just learn trivia. I could just stay home and watch Jeopardy or something, you know. And so, wait, wait a minute. Can we change our team name to? Susan's bullshit trivia. Oh, yeah. So I said, I said, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. And they said, well, you know, and I started, I said, fine, I will just write my own freaking trivia. Anybody got plans Thursday? No. Okay. I'm going to do a trivia. So I just threw it together. So, th so that's how I did it. And it wasn't supposed to be a thing. It was supposed to be that day. And that was it. So <laughs> 99 the rest is history. Yeah, seriously, the rest is history. We've had several people who are here and who are about to join us that were at that first game. And I think that's real kind of fun. So um the uh I was gonna mention who's here. Let's see. How many did you have that first game? I had 20 people. Oh. And, and I know that because I have it written watching. down. Uh Robin was here, Robin Welsh, who will be here in a few minutes. She was she's <laughs> just leaving work. And Peggy was here. I don't think I was at the first one, was I? Yes, you were. Oh, wow. Peggy Hill, oh. I have your name. You were on Robin's Renegades. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you were in almost in last place, but we don't have. <laughs> oh, that was good. I rubbed the salt in there. Thank you. Nowhere to go but up. Nowhere to go but that. And at the time, I had the point system set up to be 100. So it was like I had this weird, I didn't know what it was doing. Uh, the Ronas. I mean, was, uh, had Richard Saunders and Leonard Trammell and Paula and Wendy on it. That was wow. the Ronas. The Ronas. Oh, I remember that. Wow. Wendy doing? Robin, Wendy, yes, I texted her and I said, hey, we'd love to have you play tonight. You were at the first game and I haven't heard back from her. She's better. She moved and she had surgery and, you know, she's she's getting her life together here with uh, just moving and having surgeries enough. Uh, the fish heads were uh jeff rottenall karen who will be here in, by seven and a couple of people haven't played much since <laughs> if at all and then the last team there was only four teams was called trinity and that was rob palmer caspian jamie deborah and steve roberts so we got some we got some history here so that's going to be important later not that you had to remember that or anything so let's do our team names so the first first team is leonard jamie Brian, Terry, and Ben. What did you guys come up with? 
you want to do the honors, Leonard, since it was your uh, idea? Six, 64. 64 is the name? Yeah. <laughs> That's 100 in hexadecimal. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Of course. Oh. Oh. It's, it's 100 in octal. Oh. 64. That's your name. Yes. <laughs> yes, you've got a problem here. <laughs> okay. All right. 64. All right. So, Deborah, Adrian, Bob, Jeff, Robin, and Fika will be on this team. Ooh, Who doesn't yay. know yet? She'll be on oh. your team. What is your team name? Good ideas for a name, but we didn't like any of them. <laughs> right? I missed that. We had 100 <laughs> ideas for name, and we didn't like any of them. Oh, 100 <laughs> ideas for name, and we didn't like any of them. That's clever. See? That's clever. <laughs> that, 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 that there? That's clever. Okay, just, just saying. 64. <laughs> it's wordy. <laughs> How dare you? It's prolix. <laughs> Easy to pronounce, though. <laughs> Yeah, hey, well, they've well, all been too easy to pronounce. Well, when, I was trying you're... to, I wasn't quite sure if you wanted it to be six, four in, you know, decimals, digits, or if you wanted it to be like written like down, S I X T Y F O U R. You know, Susan, you're going to be excited when someone comes to you and they say, Susan, I need your help. I need to know what 100 is in hexadecimal, and you'll be able to tell them. Okay, but I didn't remember it was hexadecimal, and that was like a second ago. That question <laughs> escaped my brain. When it's, when it's important, you'll know. Okay, that's the problem. Right? All right, so team three, which will no longer be called team three, unless, of course, you named yourself team three Peggy, Kyle, Carl, Janine, Caspian, and Vincent. We are the honeybee honey democracy. democracy. The honeybee democracy. What does that got to do with what? 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 We were discussing things. The honey it's what we discussed. It's what it's, we discussed in our Kyle team meeting. Just read. Okay. Honey. It's about bugs. Right. Bugs are really important. Yes, they are. They make the world go round. So I, I've heard. Kyle is doing public honey public public government public. except for the others that have been tried. Okay. Pretty good. And it's pronounceable. Okay. <laughs> you got that? Did you catch that? I should you should know win that? just for that. Uh-huh. Rob, Larry, Faith, and Romero. Romero's doing something weird with some people at the moment. Avi and Jim. What do you guys think? Weird. Doing something weird with some people. Right, some podcast yeah. fanboying. Fist my bump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Susan should get that. Fist yep. I got it. I got it right away. Fist my bump. I don't see it. Um, it's my bump. I don't. Do I really need to put that, that in? Yeah, you do. I just copy and paste. You know. Fist my bump. Why is it, it funny? It sounds pornographic. It certainly does. Oh, thank you. Okay, got it. Oh, is that the reference? Because we're all children teenagers here okay oh yeah, my god it's project <laughs> oh my gosh and i can't believe you i don't remember that part sorry i was paying attention to something <laughs> the other i'm gonna do a project homework category and susan's gonna get zeros on oh it's yep. probably oh. Possibly. probably she gets okay. no spoilers no and spoilers last, last but not least karen who's gonna be here in a few minutes james kevin mike terry allen and richard saunders <laughs> oh i like it that's good that's really good is it in the chat and i don't yeah see it? yeah slap okay slap susan for oh you read it you want to read it wait no time to wait uh -huh. that's good very good hey Jamie, slap susan for guys. the splendid centennial celebration today yep <laughs> kids are weird <laughs> we are i love you very all. very true Okay, I am putting. Hi, Adrian. I am putting doing... your names on your team names on the Zoom in the breakout rooms. Now I've had it where sometimes it'll stay and sometimes it won't, and it just erases them. So I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but let's see. So today, boy, is March 31st, 2022, and the year 20 of 22, or 2022, or some something like that that i know oh, is like so much 
What is in hexadecimals? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? In and uh, we have we're on game one hundred, season two, episode forty three. That's a lot of That'd things. Be Celsius and two twelve Fahrenheit. <laughs> there you go. Um, so our group names are the team names are sixty four and a hundred ideas for a name, but we didn't like any of them. And <laughs> the honeybee democracy versus fist my bump <laughs> versus slap susan for the splendid centennial celebration so there your team name by the way is slap susan that's all over fit on my on the thing. <laughs> i mean that is appropriate right maybe you get an award uh, so anyway let's go to the let's go to our our um uh things we'll go to first category Hello, Adrian's there. going to be running the um, the the mute everybody the yeah taking care of you all in her here? ways. Yeah. Okay, so that's not big enough. I'm in charge. This is cool. I'm just going to go right at it. Okay, here we go. First category is Punch and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. So the first category is 100. Who? Okay, muting everybody now. Give Don't forget 64. to unmute yourself. <laughs> I have to remember how this works. Oh my gosh, I haven't done this in so long. Okay, first category is 100. That is that is the name. So, in no particular order, but I'll start with one. Question okay. number one. For anybody who hasn't played before, I think there's somebody here, right? Don't no, no, play everybody's any? played before. Okay. Right? Everybody's played. Right. Nobody say anything. Don't shout out answers or anything like that unless it's really funny or you know something like that. Don't want to clarify a question because if you clarify a question, sometimes you end up giving away the answer to other people. So be careful what you say. So question number one. It's really funny. Oh, very good, Vincent. He's he's clever, isn't he? Number one. Question number one. American saving bonds of a hundred dollars have whose portrait on it? Question number two, America treasury bonds of $100 have this portrait on it. So the first one is savings bonds and number two is treasury bonds. The next one is Canadian $100. Uh, no, on uh, number three. The next one is James bonds. <laughs> Question three, March 2nd, 1962. That's right before Robin and I were born. This NBA player scored 100 points in one game. What is the name of the NBA player who scored 100 points in one game in 1962? Question four. Now remember, these are all in the chat, so um, you can you can look at them in a minute. The Hundred Years' War was between A, England and Spain, B, England and France, C, France and Spain, or D, Netherlands and England, or E, none of the above. So you got a multiple choice in that one. Question five, on December 21st, 1999, Time Magazine recorded who, recognized who as person of the year, or the century, person of the century. Question six, who is on the $100 bill? Question seven, what is the word 100 in Spanish? I assume that's the US $100 bill. Yes. C. <laughs> oh, I have an extra R in this word. You must take out that R. Okay, question eight. The 1967 novel, 100 Years of Solitude, written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, is from what country? What country is he from? Not the book. Number nine, number nine. What is a hundred? What is the number with a hundred zeros called? And number 10, it was a lot harder to come up with the questions about 100 than you would imagine. So this one's about 101. And in the Disney movie from 1961, 
101 Dalmatians, I want to know the name of one of the two main dogs, the mommy or the daddy's name. Because when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, sometimes they make baby puppies. And that's what happened. And then somewhere, and then there's a plot device and there was other puppies and stuff like that too. But I want to know the name of either of the parents. No bonus points if you know both. So that's a nice little range of uh, different different ones for you. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Anything else I need to solidify or whatever? I'm going to bounce around from room to room. So I'm excited because I get to see everybody. Robin just came in, so you'll have to assign her. Okay, I've got her in a room. Robin is going to be on, where did I put her? A hundred ideas for a name, but we don't like any of them. Okay. Oh, go to rooms. Play nice. I'll come and visit. I will visit. I will visit with you all. All my little friends. All my hundred little friends in there. Larry is napping. Larry, wake up. Go to your room. I'll tap on the screen. <laughs> Mika, did I sign you to your room? Oh, I uh, did. Sorry. Oh, there's some have... people. Huh? I don't have the breakout room option. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Thank you. you there you go. Thank Love you. Very it. Much. And you're going to. I didn't realize there were some people I forgot that didn't get put into the rooms. You're in the same room as she is. Fika is her name. There's Karen. Karen, you are going to go into room five. Oh, it's called Slap Susan for the Splendid Centennial Celebration. So there. I hope you enjoy your room. Okay, now here's the fun part. I get to go zoom around rooms. Oh, good. But if the new ones have, if the new ones have one of the beginning, that's great. That's good. The treasury bonds? Uh, not, a clue, not a clue. Anyone on that one? No. I've never, I've never uh, uh, seen a treasury uh, uh, bond. Uh, uh, I know. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> oh, cool. You can help us, Susan. I've never seen one. Okay. NBA? NBA? 1962. Sounds about right. I'm just guessing. Whoa, aren't you Mr. Basketball? No. <laughs> Was it Will Chamberlain or, or, um, or Bill Russell? I, I don't follow uh, basketball, so I have no idea. On or, was it Lou, or was it Lou Alcindor? And who's on, that a, people constantly who's on the hundred dollar bill? Franklin. Franklin. Yeah, that one I think. Ben Franklin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's the, the number six. It's all about the Benjamins. Ah. Yeah, that's number six. Um, oh, 1962. My goodness. I, the only one that I came up with is Kareem Abdul Jabbar because he was from that era, I believe. Yeah. But that's just a guess. <sighs> I'm going to suck at spelling it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> well, <laughs> too easy, I think. He's been in the news quite a bit lately. Uh, I mean, he's in the news a lot for political commentary, but that seems very early for him because it does. Um, that, maybe too yeah, early. That, yeah. that would mean that he would have to be over 80 now, and he's not. He looks ah, about okay. He, yeah, I think that's he's about 65, I was 75, 70, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't yeah. think it's him. I don't think so. Yeah, either. okay. He's, that's too yeah. Yeah. I, I, Yay. 100 points. Was it Chamberlain or is that too late? Uh, that's That would be the answer that I would give because the other it's basketball easier. players I can name are probably too recent. Way too recent. Yeah, but two was is, I didn't even. I think that's right. He's the first kind of one that I remember that was so famous. He certainly slept with a hundred people. We know that. I don't know if he got a hundred points in a game. He slept. He claims to have slept with ten thousand women. I don't know if the math on that works out. Ken. <laughs> I think there's a ratio, though. Isn't there women slept with versus points scored in a game? <laughs> you got to work on that data there, Kyle. 
All right, yeah, look into the Chamberlain ratio. Well, for now we have Will. Um, savings bonds, I know nothing about savings bonds. I save nothing. I have so nothing. I, I, I guess we have to go with current savings bonds because there's been numerous people on savings bonds. Uh -huh. I, think, I think currently it might be Thomas Jefferson on the $100 savings bond, but I'm not sure if she did the proper research on number two because the government does not issue paper treasury bonds anymore. Treasury bonds are only issued in electronic form. But is there a picture on the electronic form of some kind? No. Only if it's sold in the form of an NFT. Yeah, no. <laughs> they're, well, they're... 2006, I think. Okay. Hello, Susan. They did what, Avi? They did you, as in everybody, in 2006. Mm -hmm. Oh, you remember that? Yeah. Who's going to wake up Larry? We're cool. Don't. No, leave him, leave him to sleep. He's fine. Uh, anyone know this novel? Oh, is that where you're at? He was, we, we're skipping around. Did we say the novel? What country Jim was? said Chile. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. I, I'm, Chile. Very, it's probably I'm very sure Chile. it's this a Latin American country, but uh, Chile is sort of a guess. <laughs> Uh, your your guess of Colombia sounds about as is likely to me. Yeah. Oh, oh, then we're just guessing. It could be any South America, or maybe even go Spain. with go with Chile, because I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So we got there's Chile something. Down. There's another book I have that I yeah yeah that. Yeah. All right. MBA. Who follows the MBA? Historic. 1962. Is that Bird? Is Larry Bird? Or is that too look too late? I think that's too early, too late. <sighs> Could this have been? I don't know anybody before that, even by name. Be any of those, any of those. Okay, we yeah. straighten up now. I, have, I, now. I, I would that. I would hesitate. I would hesitate to, to pick Spain. I don't know that it would be Spain. Why do you say that? Venezuela sounds sounds. It's really also good. is Marquez a Spanish name or a a Central American name? Uh, Marquez is a Marquez. Spanish name. It's a Spanish which, name, which, yeah. would, which could carry over to South America. Okay, with an F would be Portugal. Oh. Although that doesn't mean that he did migrate. Yeah. What's the question? Marquez, uh, where where is he from? What country? Gabriel well, Garcia I mean, Marquez. The the spelling of the name is a Spanish spelling. Just go with Spain then. We okay. don't. I mean, it could also be South American countries in Mexico because they right. all the same. Well, I, I'm just thinking the years of solitude. If it's that kind of a, a thing, I doesn't strike strike me as being something from Spain. Aren't there well, islands off of? Spain? Well, remember they had Franco. Yeah. Who's still dead? As last I heard. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh, well, but but Einstein Einstein's in trouble. <laughs> what did we decide on? For which one? Eight. Eight. Now you want to just go with Spain? I mean, it's. Oh wait, I've been muted. <laughs> I, think it's, I think Marquez is uh, South America. That's what I kind of think. Okay. 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 So only, only because I played some music by Marquez, different Marquez, and and he's Central American or from somewhere down there. For some reason, I think Argentina, but the author is from. You mean? Yeah. Oh, that yeah, that's yeah. Do we have answers I'm for like everything? Like only twenty percent sure on that. No. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Well, what I'm about glad, we skip? I'm glad. I'm glad we stopped before okay. Susan got here because we wouldn't want that previous discussion to be in the recording. Oh, correct. About the, the method of reproduction. <laughs> uh, the exactly. Um. What are we going what, what are we doing for number two? Also. Could it could be Ben Franklin also like the bill. Um, I, I have no idea. Better than nothing. No idea. 
Um, Pick one of the presidents. Let's just assume it's not Trump. Correct. It's probably JFK. Who knows? Okay, that's well, that's good. a good idea. That's I mean, if we don't have any other answer, I say we put that better than a blank. Because we're sure that a blank is wrong. Yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, JFK. Well, okay. like MLK and JFK, that's kind of like, you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. true. It could very I well mean, be. yeah, but uh, I, 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 Probably. yeah, you get two of them, man. No, but I, I'm okay with, like, I'm okay with at least one of them being someone else because it just seems so, I don't know, it's just so uh, insular. Otherwise, yeah, and I like the Martin Luther King mm -hmm. for the first one. <sighs> if we don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am about 80% sure of those, but that's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. better than my <laughs> 0%. So, you know, I'll take that's it. Better. We'll take it. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, that's good. I think we got them all then. Right. This is well, it. I mean, we definitely have them all filled in. Yeah. I guess the other one for discussion enough. would be the time person of the yeah, year. Yeah. Like, I mean, Einstein feels. Good. Too sciencey, but no, but it feels good because like he was he's... instrumental in the war and theory. He was he was... Off a cat that kept having kittens, and I I finally after about the third litter of watching him get caught by coyotes and stuff, when we had a new litter come, I live trapped him, mm -hmm. and this one was bigger and purred really loud and was really calm, and so I put all the kittens in the shower and handle them for a week to kind of tame them down. And then we took them to the pound because I thought if they were a little tamer that they didn't get yeah. very tame, they were awful. But um, I kept him. We're, uh, we're, we're only, we're only a uh, number one, Susan. I'm kidding, you know, we're not. And we're talking we about our cats. We've gotten down to cat combos. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just, I feel I bad. Think today. you got it all? Well, we have answers for everything. We have answers for everything. Yeah. Not two. Unless we're sticking with blank as the answer. That yeah. could, that could answer. I think that's wrong. Susan, well, who you're would not we like to, to have on that? it? The blank is wrong? You're not supposed to tell us that. Blank it's is not blank. blank. It's literally nobody. Oh, okay. The government that's has not issued pa paper different. treasury bonds in a long time. Well, maybe it'll turn out to be Mel Blank. We'll win it anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mel that. Blank. What's up, Doc? <laughs> yep. A lot of people apparently didn't know this for many, many years that Mel Blank was black. Are you sure? No. I don't think that's the case. I read it. By... I didn't know Chris Walk Rock was black. What? I didn't know. How did you manage what? to? That's what a rock have you been living under? Been not know that. A lot more. That's what Mark said. Mel Blank, the <laughs> the character that did, or the voice that did uh, Bugs Bunny. Like every yeah, voice I, of the Golden Age. I don't age. think he's black. Yeah, he could be ethnically black, but he is definitely not black in appearance. A oh, German Jewish oh, okay. immigrant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was black. Uh, no. Okay. I've I've seen him on an old episode of the Jack Benny show. All the funny people hmm. back then were Jews. Pretty if much. If we didn't have Jews, there would be no comedy in America. Ah, uh, yeah. There wouldn't have been no entertainment in the Catskills. No. My, uh, <laughs> my mom's. Uh, friend who died recently he knows a little bit about the history of why there were so many jewish people in america he said that um before world war ii the jews uh, in europe kind of knew what was happening what was going to happen they kind of were there there was a lot of hatred towards Jews before World War II. 
And uh, so they decided to jump ship and head on over to um, <gasps> earthquake uh, the state. Did you feel it? No, I didn't feel it. There was one a little bit earlier. Oh, no, I didn't feel it. I feel nothing. It just happened, just second, just like right cool. there. Well, oh, I mean, are you getting uh, sound takes a while to get here? Are you getting uh, uh, tremors? That was the second one in the last yeah. that one about an hour and a half ago. I'm feeling it here now. Look, look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'd be curious if, if my screen did a little job. It might be, it might be getting here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Janine's getting yeah. it now, but Caspian and Peggy didn't feel it. No, I've got we didn't an automatic feel it. Uh, vibration uh, diffuser on my video. It seems to have been at least the one earlier was in uh, San Juan Bautista. Oh, what time is that far from us? <laughs> what was it like? It was like a three point eight or something. A three point three at um, three thirty nine. This is just a little bit bigger than that, so maybe a three five. Oh wow, that was just oh, building that's up. Not to much. It. I would Ooh. keep a fish tank if I were you. <laughs> and then every time it shakes, you see how high the water swishes Ooh, up because a it's a lot easier to tell in a fish tank than it is because the water does jiggle. I just watch the cats. Okay, so I'm going to call everybody back. I'm sure everybody's done. All right. His uh, duty. Yeah. wonder how much he knows about, you know, trivia. Have you seen his TV show? I'm watching it now. I want anybody, to did it. anybody just feel the earthquake we just had? Did you have another earthquake? No. Yeah, just like I was in one of the breakout rooms. I go, oh, earthquake. That was the second one. And there was one about, there was one about an hour here. ago. And yeah, yeah, that one I felt. Here it comes. I can feel well, it. Well, gee, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe, if you'd been, maybe if you'd been in the same breakout room as me, I would have felt the earthquake. Uh, mm -hmm. There was one earlier today over there, Susan, that was like a bigger. I, I didn't feel it. Yeah, I felt one. that. I felt it's the like, one that was bigger. That was about an hour and a half ago. And then this one was a little bit bigger. Yeah, no, the, the one that the one just now was a two point something. The one before earlier day was a three point something. Which Richard is Richard I Saunders, do you remember it. how big the one was that we watched uh, Michelle Pickesmar go through while we were on Zoom? You're you're, you're, you're on Richard? mute. You're on mute, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, Michelle was can. doing. That is what Michelle was doing. When My will stand is that one. I can't remember. It wasn't this that huge? But the one that Susan's just talking about was a couple of minutes ago, a two point nine. Oh no, it was way more than that. Oh, that Located, my, yeah. Maybe oh, just I like felt it more. Located Sorry, near San Juan. San Juan Batista? Yes. That's close. That's why. That's just up. That's why. It's just I, up there. Hi, Romero. I heard you were out fanning with people. Fanboying. He's fanboying. This is where you you should be. Not not with those hanging out those weird people. With those gurus. Can you see this, Susan? Okay. Oh, so hey, hey, everyone, how is it going? We're great. There's Salinas at the bottom, and where that peg is, where where the earthquake. Oh, is. oh, I was like looking for Richard. Yeah, it's oh, not it's all that far deep. from you, actually. It's almost due oh. north. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's the details. Yeah, that's that's not worth noticing. Two point nine. That's yeah. There was another one that was three point four earlier. In the same so, so there's, a, there's like Australian uh, Australian psychics are right again because they did say yeah. there's going to be earthquake right again, activity yeah. in California. <laughs> They're always right. Yeah. Okay. They're right I don't again. remember what what magnitude it has to be before it does anything worse than rattle dishes. <laughs> um, are those are those I... earthquakes or are they tremors? Is there a what's the difference? Uh, it depends on who you ask. You need to ask Kevin Bacon. <laughs> uh, uh, I all right that. so did you guys like category 100 that was way harder than i thought to write and i think yeah, you that, pretty good yeah it was, good category. It was, it was different it was okay so number one and you want me to put these in the chat i suppose sure you want, you i was surprised at the things that people found difficult so here <laughs> but that's how it always is when you write these things so yeah. number one the answer is thomas jefferson so a lot of people put martin luther king I don't think um, that that is a valid answer because he is on the series I bonds. I just checked. Yeah, there's mul there's multiple. Uh, I was going to ask which which of the different bonds you mean because there's more than one. Series E E has Thomas Jefferson. Series I has M L K. Hmm. Well, I guess, and that's that's okay. 
Yay, acceptable yeah. answer. Okay, question number two, it's Andrew Jackson. <sighs> As I get the federal government has not issued paper treasury bonds in a long time. The last paper treasury bond matured in 2016. Well, it's Nobody nice to get a little treasury. lecture from- They're only uh, issued in electronic form for quite some time. Mute that man. <laughs> <laughs> so we put no one. Does that count? <laughs> no, it doesn't count. So question three is- Even though it's correct, it's not Is correct. Bill Chamberlain. Oh. Yay. Yay. I heard some nice discussions Talk, about Talked ourselves out of that one. Sexual yeah, prowess. He, the, the numbers he came up with, the amount of women he slept with were odd. And we're waiting for, on the next data skeptic. Actually, it was even. <laughs> yeah, what it would take to accomplish his claim? Quite a bit, yeah. Well, they say, I remember reading, I remember reading something once, and I don't know if it was Batman and Robin or someplace I was reading something, and they were saying women were ready every six feet, which is like a visual I'm not sure I want to see. But, <laughs> uh, could, I don't know. The next one is the letter B, as in potato. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> well, that helps a lot, Susan. Right down, Thanks, ooh, Susan. Isn't, I love that. How about bra uh, Bravo? You can give us the words. It is B, uh, as in the last France. letter of the word Cone. Okay, we're good. France. England and France. We are from France. France. <laughs> from France. Cone head. Mass property. I, I'm surprised nobody said, I'm going to write that down. Susan, the potato. Okay. I got it. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Can, okay. can you take an excerpt of the audio? Add it to the list of letter words you're creating. Okay, uh, collecting. So, Time Magazine recognized Albert Einstein. I saw oh, some. Got that right? Yep. Yep. Big Al. This one, everybody Thank seemed you. to get right. Thank Benjamin you, Franklin. Yeah. With a hundred dollar bill. Um, All about the Benjamins. Yeah. There, yeah. There's no R in in Benjamin, Susan. <laughs> 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 there's no, no, uh, there's no uh, in in Washington it. either. <laughs> <laughs> and in Spanish, 100 is cien. C I E N. I don't care if uh, that's wrong. This oh, one, a lot of people crazy. talk themselves in and out of. Um, he's from Colombia. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. We got Colombia. Good. And then this one, everybody seems to know because you're a bunch of nerds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that one right, though. Yeah, this one's Google, a spelling thing. Google. G O O G O L. Yeah. So, and so do we give one, ourselves seven? <laughs> for the <laughs> last one, yeah, the Disney movie, um, I think a couple of people might have got this right. I'm really surprised, but that's great. So if you put down Pongo or Perdilla, Perdita. 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 Wow. Perdita. Perdita. It sounds like a mathematical thing. Those you names are out there. Very wow. good. Thanks to my sister for having a stuffed dog named Pongo because it was her favorite movie. Oh, <laughs> I knew it'd come in handy eventually. Okay, so let's do these scores. So, Susan. Yes. Despite the fact that for the past 25 years, treasury bonds have been issued only electronically with no image of anyone on them, you're insisting that nobody is not an acceptable answer? That is correct. Okay. I'm just saying. So here we go. <laughs> Group 64. Score. Six. Uh, hold on. No, six. Six. Six, right? I think so. Six. six. Okay. Yeah. Group 100 ideas for a name, but we didn't like any of them. Nine. Nine. Ooh. Who gets nine? All right. The Honeybee Democracy. Eight. 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 Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. <laughs> Fist my bump. <laughs> Is that I four? Five. Five? Five? Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Kevin's fisting a bump. Yeah, five. Mm -hmm. Five. And then slop Susan for the splendid centennial celebration. So there. Seven. Ooh, we got a nice mix. That's good. That's that's really good. I'm pleased. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lucy was not. I know. Oh, we're gonna go right into the next one and then we'll take a break. So this one, next one is, uh, I had to mix you guys up in a certain way because of this question. And then again, I had to make, for our questions coming up later, I had to make sure you guys were all mixed up really good because this category is 10 questions from our first game, June 11th, 2020. Whoa. 
So <laughs> I had to make sure that you guys are mixed up enough that there wasn't a problem because you guys have been spread out a little bit. Luckily, I remember every question. Of I know question. you were here. So, <laughs> so Leonard was here. Um, Deborah was here. I didn't even Robin remember that I was there. Peggy yeah. was here. <laughs> Here, here. Yeah, until, was here. Until you said I was there, I didn't know I was Rob there. Rob was here. Oh, that's no, And Richard Saunders and Karen were here. So, wow, 100 games, you guys. It's hard to believe we've been here 100 games. So our categories that we had for, for our first category, remember, I just didn't really know what I was doing at that time, and I just picked things. And I thought we were going to be a California, Monterey, it was supposed to be Monterey County skeptics and other people in Monterey County. I All of a sudden, it exploded into other other countries here. So that was weird. So here we go. Question number one. Adrian, you want to mess, mess with them? And that was so June 11th, 2020. So, so is this the same? Is it you're saying these are the same 10 questions from game one? These are, well, there was 40 questions in game one. So I picked 10. Yeah. All right. So muting everybody. Same wording and everything. But that doesn't mean you can't get it if you weren't here. These are all normal questions. You, 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 you may be fine. There better not be any Punch and Judy questions on this. <laughs> no, they weren't game one. So, um, yeah. So, they, actually, being here on, on the first game might be a hindrance because you may misremember. <laughs> and everybody says, oh, well, he was here that day. So, she might know because she was here. And then you're talking yourself out of the answer. You might have got it wrong then. You might still get it wrong. Question number one. At what amusement park would you find the Flintstones, Beetlejuice, and Burwink Bullwinkle shows? What California amusement park? So this category that I'm reading it from, two questions out of this is for California. The second question is, Name the author of over 50 books who died on his ranch near Napa Valley, California in 1916. Question number three. Oops. Question number three. This, chat, this category was called monsters. So this question is number three. Name the silent German film from 1922 that was an unofficial ad adaptation of Bram Stoker's 1897 novel, Dracula. It was released in America in 1929. So it's a horror movie. Ooh, Question four. The lake monster that was said to live in Lake Champlain. This is pulling from a category called U.S. Presidents. Question number five. What U.S. president was the first to visit Europe while in office? And I can remember us having a dis people discussing this question. I remember, I vividly remember going from room to room and having people arguing about it. But could it be this one? No, maybe it would. Oh, I, had it. I can remember the, I can remember you have this conversation about it. Number six, President George H.W. Bush, out for a jog one morning, flashed this hand gesture and told reporters that was Julius Caesar ordering five beers. What is the hand gesture? It'll make sense if you, if you get the right answer. The next category I had back in June, 1920, I mean, 2020, <laughs> 1920, June 11th, we're getting on our second year pretty soon, was children's literature. Okay, so this question is from the children's literature category. Jonathan Swift's 1726 book, Travels into Several Remote Nations of the World. That was what the book was called, Travels into Several Remote Nations of the World. It was written to lampoon London royalty. And this book is better known as what? I want the name of the book that it's better known as. 1726. This one's a little longer. Uh, also children's literature. This is the opening paragraph of what classic book? So I'm gonna read you a paragraph, the opening paragraph. She, was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and having nothing to do 
Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book without pictures or conversations? Isn't that a great first opening of a book? Oh my gosh. Okay, question nine. This was a, a category, I think it was just miscellaneous. During World War II, the US asked General Electric to make a rubber that could be used in tires and military gear. General Electric came, came up with a product that could be stretched and flattened across a book that when peeled up would reveal the mirror image of the print. This invention failed for the war effort but became this popular toy. And last in question 10 on this category of 10 questions from game one, June 11th, 2020, is famous American socialist and activist Helen Keller was from what state? When I asked this the last time, I said, what city in state? So I'm being kind by just giving you the state because nobody knew the city. Okay. Good job. Roomy room rooms. Roomy room rooms. <laughs> it's roomy room time. Roomy room room time. Yay, roomy room room time. It's roomy room room time. Roomy room 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 room. Go to rooms. Go to rooms. Ah, 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 ah. Go to rooms. Room 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 Go to room 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 room. Okay. Let's go see what's going in. I think it is universal. I I, I think it is I too. Well, Flintstones or Hanover Vera. I think that's your new. It's Winkle. It's also not be. Berry Farm. It, uh, but it's not not Berry Farm. Okay. I don't think unless that's all new stuff in the well, last. So Universal is is regarded as a an amusement park rather than a. Could it be Six Flags? Park. Six Flags Magic Mountain. It could be. That rings a bell. Ding ding. Although I think it could be universal. What are you dinging on? It was just ringing a bell. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm going to throw that the, uh, the cat's in the house. So we have to oh. behave ourselves. Okay. Is, there a, is it like in Florida, they have an, a, a nearby uh, um, universal in California too? Yeah, the first one was yeah. in California. In California. Pretty sure he was in, in the east. So maybe he went uh, back? I, I, I'm pretty sure he was pretty, he was living fairly far east uh, when he died. Uh, could it be Steinbeck? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's put Steinbeck down for now yeah. and then come back to it. Yeah. Keep in so mind, at least one of you oh, was in the okay. room whenever there was this question. We know. I, I was just telling okay. the season. I remember every single one of these being asked, and the ones I knew then, I still know, and I didn't learn anything because. <laughs> Okay. I, I Steinbeck, Steinbeck can't be the one for two because he wrote stuff oh, set in the Great Depression. Okay, so who else? Oh, Steinbeck. All right, let's come back to that one. Then we spent a lot. Maybe of time Steinbeck was a time traveler. Yeah, let's Maybe. let's go. Let's go on. Number three is Nosferatu. Yes. Number four, I think, is Champy. Is the name? Yeah, yeah that's so. the, that's that's okay. my guess too. Yeah. Right. Don't oh, remember man. the president. Anyone know the president? First um, one. Oh, uh, well, how, in how about Woodrow Wilson? Okay. Uh, no. Baratu? Yeah. Yes. Number four oh, is Champy. Champy. Yep. Champy. Yep. Uh-huh. Number five is Woodrow Wilson. Uh-huh. Number six is that. Yep. Number six is... Oh, oh ah, good one. It's just that, that. Not that. Yeah. What? It's Do it again. again. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a victory or, or peace sign. I'm sure he meant it as peace. <clears throat> I Maybe think he, he meant it as he, he said it. it. Up yours. He was looking for five beers. Yeah, probably. I like beer. Oh, that was somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Gulliver's Travels, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, yep. I would think. I think so. Yep. I don't know oh. number eight. Isn't Alice that Alice in Wonderland? Wonderland? That's Alice I, in Wonderland. I think it's Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, Two absolutely. It's Alice in Wonderland. Two of them. 
it was yeah. hey susan what happened to fika she got kicked out did she get put back in, let me see if she got put back in the room where is she she got out here i don't see her on the maybe she's having internet trouble oh that's too bad because she's she's good yeah she was uh, yeah she got she got like five yeah a bit oh, right. from her last category yeah, she was good. She, Where's our ringer? ringer? She, Where's our ringer? I saw she tried to enter the room a few minutes ago, and I brought her in uh, when we were on the main screen. But I don't see her. No, maybe she'll try to come back. I hope so. I don't have a message. No, I don't have a message from her or anything. I don't know if I'm a friend of hers on Facebook. Okay, how you guys doing? Oh, I, I can look right here and see. Yeah, isn't that handy? So. Hmm. Five and ten, you're still working on. Just, just to keep in mind. Well, I don't know. We might be working on other ones too. We just put in, uh, you know, haphazard answers. Yeah, yeah, right. There's at least two of you here now that we're here on that day. Just reminding mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're. Oh, really? No, that's my only guess. I have no guess. That's my guess. I, that someone, mean... someone's here that knows though. Look at her face while we say the answer. Also. Was Little House on the Prairie a book? Which yeah. is a TV show. No, no it was, was a book, book originally. It was a set of books. So. Although first the house. I'm thinking the wood. my uh, little house on my little house in the wood or something. I'm right? thinking I'm thinking Little Women, but I don't know. <laughs> hey, little Women. Okay, Little Women. That's, That's even better because I'm I have Little House on the Prairie. Okay, it's just uh, tough because when you come up with answers and then you change them and then it's like uh, yeah. we should have stuck with Will Chamberlain. Dang it, we, <laughs> we should have. Yes, and and I apologize for. Uh, but uh, for the uh, common dog names oh, oh it, those dog names so, were nowhere anywhere in there's the no way i was so going to come I, up yeah. with perdita or pondo no. no perdita we we were so close i'm all like what if we have we, we get credit for misspellings but in this <laughs> case we had extra letters on extra the end letters. i'm like i guess I we can't the same give thing. that to ourselves Add an extra letter yeah so instead of um so for 100 we said siente Cien. We had Ciente Cien. instead of Cien. So yeah. I'm like, wait, does that count? Yeah. <laughs> Only you guys know. <laughs> no, it uh, no, it doesn't count. No, we but gave ourselves close. a six. We were close. Chances. Okay, but you know what? We could Alabama. fall into this trap that Susan was talking about where people yeah. think they remember something and they don't. So what I do remember is that it was somewhere in the South and I was surprised because I thought they were like New Englanders or something like that. And as I recall, it was Alabama and I had no idea what the friggin' city was when she even said it. I remember I wasn't there. You could tell by her accent. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Actually, she was not, I saw that she was not, was she born deaf or? Uh, yeah, deaf, deaf, deaf at birth. And at birth. No, at, deaf at, at birth. She wasn't born at she she got um she encephalitis i think oh really oh. okay she was like a year and a half i think though oh, okay so so, so she had before heard, she would have talked but, okay. but she would have had at least heard sounds at one time so, yeah i think it's yeah. possible that that was helpful uh, they don't know do you think could it have been another southern state or just you pretty sure it's alabama i you know, again, I'm doubting it now. I seem to remember <laughs> that it was Alabama, but I had no idea what the town was. But I think okay. I probably only know one town in Alabama. Yeah. Montgomery. That's yeah. Not, or Selma. You know, that those uh, are the towns there's I There's two. Okay. I have no thoughts I, one way or another. I go with I'll, I'll let's I trust you. Alabama? Yeah. Yep. I think Unless somebody knows it's New York. If you know no, it's New York. I don't know. Okay. We're just guessing. And I have no wow. recollection of, like I said, about the president. I remember I got it wrong, and I still don't remember what the answer was. We have less choices now. If you remember who it was you got wrong with. No, I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You guys all done? That was a long time ago. 
No, we're stuck on number one. <laughs> yeah, no? we're. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. well, that's that's what we're. <laughs> I was discussing. here. I heard you guys rattling them off. Uh, so we. That's what we act like we're stuck on, because that's the one that any any you know the B democracy is going to be interested in anything that might have fleas or so, insects or. So for clarification on number one, Susan. Yes. These are shows currently at an amusement park. Like not. If you wanted to go and see the Flintstones. Okay. Today. I assume I, I, don't, now, I haven't somewhere. been anywhere in two and a half years. <laughs> yeah. Well, two years ago. Have, Three have, years you, have ago. you checked to make sure that all this information is current and no, nothing has changed since 100 weeks ago? No. <laughs> <laughs> then, then how can we answer it? Time is frozen. It's not like we've all been there and can verify. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, have you guys really been? What? You mean you were at these places and you forgot? Let's remove them from their rims, excavate them, pull them out by their little toenails. that way permanently. <laughs> that was an interesting sound, Susan. <laughs> Very good. Good question. I think that these questions are too easy for you. I'm glad I picked them <laughs> coming up here in the future. They're a lot harder. Uh, I think this has just been too simple. Here we go. Question number one. Here we go. Question number one. Oops, there it is. At what amusement park would you find this uh, Flintstones ride? It is Universal Studios. Ah. That's what I thought. Ride or show? Whatever. Right. Number two. The answer is uh, the person who wrote 50 books near Napa Valley is Jack London. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. That's nice to have people excited. We argued or thought about what it could be for Lynn, and then that was the last thing that came to very good. Thank you for that, Karen. Just out of the blue somewhere. The next one is Nosferatu. Yes. Yeah. Good job, Leonard. And I remember that from the game. Oh, well, there you go. Something sunk I think in. You, I think Unlike that question me, actually can also use it. later. So maybe there was another thing where you were referring to past questions, because I definitely recognize that question. Hmm. I think well, I had a, asked a question about them, too. I think, yeah, okay. we've had it. The next one is Champ. I know you guys put Champy. That should be fine. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Champy's good. Because I wouldn't doubt if he was also called Champy. Okay. Yeah, well, the next like one, some of you guys me. got right off and some of you didn't. So the president was Woodrow Wilson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. How are you going to say that? I don't know. I, I heard ah, Caspian so. rattle it right off. Yeah, yeah. Caspian knew it from the instant. Yeah, I got it wrong on the 11th of June, 2020, and wrong today. <laughs> <laughs> the the next one, this George H. W. Bush is the V, V or P symbol, something like that, or a five. Mm, was he I'm meaning that, or was he meaning the Brit way? It depends which way you do it, you know. Yeah, that's. I'm well, sure he, he was meant, like. He, he wouldn't have known that. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, I would agree with that. <laughs> this next one, I've got to sit and read this again someday. It's Gulliver's Travels. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of the, some of them are don't seem all that appropriate for children, really. Uh, 
not yeah. it's not a, it's not well a that's book. that's the tradition of of yeah. time it okay so the next yeah. one is alice's uh ventures in wonderland through the looking glass oh wow <sighs> well those oh, were two yeah, story two, two books there's two books two different yeah. separate books so yeah so wonderland was the what wonderland the is the correct answer wonderland yeah. alice in wonderland yeah alice's adventures in wonderland just Alice in Wonderland is fine. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, anything. And how far down the rabbit hole will we go? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the uh, next one is Silly Putty. Love Silly mm-hmm. Putty. And unless they change their answers, I think that Karen is redeemed with her question on uh, yeah. color. It is Alabama. Hi, oh, Karen. Karen. I always thought of her as something in the um, New England. Yeah, yeah, New England also, but she was Alabama. Well, I don't know why New England stuck out. It was some weird okay. town. Okay. Okay. So I was thinking Alabama or Mississippi, but I, uh, I was overruled. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're even, Jim, because you talked I, me out of Columbia last time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. She died in Connecticut. So that's probably why you're thinking New England. Yeah. I don't know. She just, wow. it just seemed like that was, yeah, Alabama wasn't it. Okay. So let's go over to. Hey, Susan. Yeah. T- uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, commonly Alice in Wonderland. Take a guess. When do you think that was published? 1860. 18... Plus or minus? 1850. 1865. 1865. Yeah. I, uh, I wow. Somebody looked it up. Yeah. Did you look and, it up? No, no, no. I, I, I no. don't. Yeah. Just I've heard heard that. Can anyone tell me what was um, Lewis Carroll's actual name? And Charles, what was his name? Charles Ludwig Dodson. Yeah. Mathematician. Yeah. Yes. I've heard that uh, I've heard mm-hmm. that uh, Queen Victoria asked uh, uh, Lewis Carroll to send her uh, send her his next book, which turned out to be some tome on abstruse mathematics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That sucks. Okay, so let's see how we <laughs> So let's start off. It, with- it was all about the Kolatz conjecture. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, before oh. Kolatz was born. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> Missed my bump. What did you come up with? Oh. Nine. Nine. Oh, wow. Look at that. Stop the account. Stop the account. 64. What do you got? Seven. Seven? Okay. And oh. then slap Susan for the splendid Hills. Nine. Yeah, these are just too easy for you guys. Mm-hmm. The honey bean democracy. Nine. Nine. Did you call it a honey bean? <laughs> <laughs> Hundred <laughs> ideas for a name, but we didn't like any of them. Eight. Yeah. How come this Ooh. average score isn't showing up on here? Remember, you have to copy it from above. I did copy it. What part do I copy? This part, this part, this part, this whole part. Thing. <laughs> Where the five is. The whole thing. Or the, or the wrong. Yeah, the whole thing, yeah, the whole thing works. works too. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's right. good. Just leave it. No, no, no. Yeah. No, don't do no, 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 Okay, so this is getting really too easy. You can make it go away if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot. We're gonna sing happy birthday and then we're gonna take a break. All right. So let's do screenshots first. Birthday. Yep, we got birthdays. <laughs> we gotta have our famous birthdays. So I suggest that maybe we should do our uh, favorite uh our, five beers. Uh, five beers. <laughs> five beers. Five, five now. Five beers. No, no, five beers. Five beers. It is. Okay, everybody ready? Everybody smiling? Everybody turned on? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Let's see if I got it. Okay, let's see. Oh. Uh oh, did I have my hand, hand the right way? I never remember which way. <laughs> you got it right. you got it. Let me just say, you know. I, have it. I think you you're know. supposed to have the front of your hand towards the person you're. Yes. Yeah, that's the yeah. Nice. That's, yeah. That's, that's a big. nice way. So you're that's not very saying, saying, yes, no, you, no, that you was know. wrong, Faith. This is. Hey, Avi, did you, like you get in touch with Wilma? No, I yeah, forgot. Yeah, we're to keeps doing it, Leonard. Okay, so we have three birthdays this week. This is, this is so cool. Terry's here on her birthday, which is really nice. And Peggy's was yesterday. And Vincent's is—is is it Sunday, Vincent, or are you just celebrating it on Vincent on Sunday? 
Yeah, it is Sunday. Okay, so we got three birthdays. So make sure you get the words Terry, Peggy, and Vincent in there. I don't care what order. <laughs> it's gonna sound bad, man. <laughs> it is gonna sound <laughs> bad. Keep, keep in yeah, mind, that's, we're, the, we're that's the only this. reason. Keep in mind. Yeah, that's it's it. definitely not the D thing. Oh, nope. maybe the funny I'll, thing is, um, maybe I should just sing, play my violin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Happy <laughs> birthday rarely works because of the slight time. I know delay. that's why oh, it's really right. funny. It makes it very funny, though. I know. Who is the violin going to be in? And whatever. Oh, look okay, at Kyle's got a tuba. <laughs> Oh, Kyle's got that. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. Hey, Kyle, what key, Kyle, what key are you going to play it in? Uh, you tell me. Off key. Off key. <laughs> Off key. <laughs> That's my favorite. What's your name? If you take the letter PVT, it's the abbreviation for private. So just say happy birthday, dear private. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? Uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, Mr. Terry and Peggy. Happy birthday, birthday to Mr. Perry and Peggy. Happy birthday, birthday to Mr. Perry and Peggy. Happy birthday, 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 birthday to Mr. Perry and Peggy. Happy birthday, 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 birthday,
Okay. Right. Well, oh, okay. Ready. See ya. We have a, uh, we have a, um, of course, the next category is all gym. No. <laughs> <laughs> all gyms in, in Canada. All okay. the gyms. All, all the gyms. The gyms all the gyms you've never known. So I'm posting the picture up right now on our, on my Facebook page. <coughs> tag yourself or whatever you want to do. Gosh, it's cold. What is going on here? Maybe we're going to have another Where's earthquake. The, where's the kitty? cold all day. They're, they're over there. They're lazy they should, as can be. They should keep you warm. I don't want them on me because they just, they don't want to be on me. They want to be right here on top of the computer. I think. Right. It's warm. Yeah, the computer's warmer than you. Yep. This, this is the, this, this, the shawl that um, Kyle's wife gave me. Isn't that pretty? It looks it's cool. gorgeous. It's, it's very pretty. It's it long and it does all sorts of nice things. Okay, here we go. So, who's back? Who's back? Oh, there's Saunders is right there. Okay, Saunders, tell yes. us what's new on the new Skeptic Zone. I hear you have a podcast. Mm, I think you're starting one. Can you give me any advice? <laughs> yeah, right. That it's it's uh, it's a lot more work than people think. That's that's my advice. Is it? Music, well, I'm not gonna, I'm Richard, not gonna do music is very important. You music is it. very important. You should, should have, have good music. I should try to have a good music. Coming up this week on the Skeptic Zone podcast, we look at a recent court loss, yet another court disaster for the Australian Vaccination Risks Network. This is the anti-vaccination group here in Australia. We speak to protesting nurses once again in the streets of Sydney, worried about their conditions and being put under too much pressure. The Book of Tim and part two of his look into the history of the word quackery. This week, he looks at quackery in ancient Rome and the Trove archives. We go back to look at references to James Randi and the Australian skeptics. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast, skepticzone.tv. That was very interesting. I, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I have yeah. not done, um, I liked his quack uh, part one. Yeah, the quack part two is quite good too. I'm, that was that was really uh, and that was recorded with my new microphone too. I can't tell the difference. That, sorry, sorry. That, sorry that's sorry. why I keep sorry. buying new microphones. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so Kyle's not back. He's all unless he's in a room that's very dark, <laughs> so dark you can't see your hand in front of your face. The only thing you can see in Kyle's house is the word Kyle. Is a floating is a floating Kyle. Is yes, it's Kyle. floating. That's it. That's all is there right now. So, uh, Terry, do you have any words of wisdom for us since it's your birthday? No. Any advice no. on how to keep, how to, how to have a birthday? Come to trivia. Oh, there yeah. you go. that helps. I, on your birthday. I, li I like birthdays. I think we should have them every year. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, it, might, it might be a trend. Who knows? It's an annual event. Yeah. I, I, have very, I have a small thing where okay. uh, I got it. Um, I have recently played a in a memorial concert for um, for a uh, a work colleague of my mom's. But actually, I ended up um, there was it was recorded and put on YouTube, and um, I actually played a little bit of music that I'm kind of proud of. So, um, so uh, I'm just going to share the link in chat, and anybody okay. who is so inclined can check it out. Um, yeah, well, like the that. like what was most impactful about it was I was playing uh, was I was playing the second movement of the Mendelssohn Piano Trio with my mom <laughs> and um, and a violinist named Grant Sears. Uh, my first memories of hearing my mom play music when I was younger was. Uh, her and this violinist and the person who would later become my cello teacher oh, and wow. my cello teacher unfortunately who passed that? during covid who um, is, ooh, who oh. is that? um donna moore um and and she she unfortunately passed during covid and because yeah. of that like there wasn't able to be an actual memorial for her and so oh. playing this Is in this space meant kind of a lot to me um, so, but I wanted to share it here because I know some people might might get oh, yeah, a kick of out course. of seeing me play. I, I, so. I, I, I'm interested and I love that we're showing our <laughs> we're sharing our lives with each other and it's really cool. I think it's fantastic. Even my cat's here. He's he wants to see it. So 
uh, I will say that this this uh, for for <laughs> Alan, we did this with literally uh, we we didn't get a chance to actually rehearse it with each other until an hour before we played it. Wow. <laughs> It's the most I, I love playing concerts like that. Once once yeah. through, once through, get out and play the concert. It's great. It's it, it's, it's really good fun. Us but like especially the idea of like trying to make chamber music work. Yeah. In that setting. Like I was surprised where where we got to on it. So hmm. as I said, like I'm I'm a little proud of it. So. See how important that is, music of your mom, Caspian, that music from your mom. See, just, <laughs> just remembering. And the reason why my cat is here, I didn't realize it is because I have a cheese stick and he must have seen it. <laughs> I thought he was here for other reasons. I was wondering why he hadn't been there all day and all of a sudden he's there. Kyle, oh, we were just talking yeah. about you. I was saying that the scarf uh -oh. I'm wearing is from Linda and oh. then uh, you're not here. <laughs> so tell us about, now I know that this next data skeptic coming up is still, I think it's on the time series, right? It has nothing to do with Wilt Chamberlain, but I think that you're going to be having something on Wilt Chamberlain coming up soon, right? So what's what's on this one now? Well, this one, uh, maybe you've heard of digital redlining. Uh, that's a problem in which, just like regular redlining, um, people can discriminate if you train an algorithm based on data that has real human discrimination, the algorithm will learn to discriminate. So. Um, while this is a real world problem, luckily researchers are very aware of it and have taken great steps to help people prevent it. And I talked to one such researcher this week. Uh, oh. Kyle, Kyle you went away. You know, considerations. You went away for like the last three. Oh, did I? Uh -oh, sorry, sorry. I we saw you, you but you well, we missed a hell of an intro. <laughs> no, um, it was the last, last 10 seconds. You, you talk to one such researcher. Yeah. Right. Getting into how they make algorithms um, have properties of fairness, so they don't inscri in, inherit any discriminatory properties that uh, you might find training them on real world data. So that's this week on Data Skeptic, fair clustering. Very good. I'm, I'm glad to know that they are aware that this is a problem so that they know to fix it. Uh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> Sound like Alan. Okay. I think Alan's whispering at somebody. No, no, no. I'm I can't I can't see anymore. Jeff, is that a Z J J Y or <laughs> I mean I guess so. Yes. Yes, Z J J. Are you typing it manually? I have to. I have to. Because I don't because I, I, I copied it, but I don't know where anything goes when I copy it. I've copied millions of things and I've never seen them you again. You can't just click a link. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I realize you don't want to trust just any link, but it came from Jeff. I trust him, you know. No, no, no. But the thing is, once <laughs> once that. once we're done for the night, then I, I lose it. So I don't know. So I No, but can't it. you click if I all right, if you click the link, it'll open the browser to the tab, but Zoom is still open. Uh, depending on what right. platform you're on. They just save it for yeah. later. That's how it works. Do, do you like people used to do at my law firm? Print it out and then <laughs> scan it back in. <laughs> you have well, I, copy. Although I, I, although I, I have to say, after after giving such a like a you know like a heartfelt story, yeah. What gold it would be if that link was a Rick roll. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> was, was, you screwed up, Jeff. I did. I screwed it up. You should have done it. Seriously, Alan, what, what, what they... happens if you just click the link in the chat? Watch yeah. Alan disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So writing it down. Oh my and, God. and I and I do it's one finger on my phone here. I mean, if, <laughs> if, if Alan, Alan just take a if picture Alan's of room it. starts to catch fire, I don't know how to do that either. I don't know how to do you so have his number? Yeah, do you have a camera? Well, I have. Like, I know how to make this computer crash. That's all I know. <laughs> you have a phone nearby? Just use your phone and take a picture of it. He doesn't know how to do that, James. When you see oh, him for coffee, I think you wait, should have a lesson. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, I'm some me. old person. I know how to do these old versions. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, hang on. But my screen's not very clear. That okay. is an old version. Holy moly. You got It'll work, though. It'll work for us. Come on. I'm you good. can do it. I, I would like to say, as somebody who's computer savvy, I would like to admit that I, I would like to say I've never done this. But that's not true. <laughs> oh, I've, I've got. Yeah. There it is. There, there it is. There it is. It's All right. Yeah. Woo Alan copied a link on just oh, I'm, I, I'm, I am perfectly happy to say that 
despite having used personal computers since the mid 1970s. Since they existed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or actually before they existed. Um, yeah. I still take pictures of my screen. Because oh, yeah. it's convenient. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does anyone, anybody watch the Amazon series Up? So it's set like 30 or 40 years from now. And, and there's a scene where they're in a tech place and old people are trying to use some kind of fancy VR. And the young person goes, oh, those millennials don't know what the hell they're doing with technology. Yeah. <laughs> the millennials are 80 and 90. Ah, revenge. <laughs> yeah. So the only other thing I needed to add. Oh, yeah. The only other thing I needed to add is that I just uh, went and made my appointment at CVS, which is a store here and uh, yeah. chain here, to go get my second booster. Oh, yeah. I, I'm over 50. I go tomorrow. Very good. Yeah. So as a reminder That's the one that all, turns you into a lizard, Susan. You better uh, watch out. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be an interesting game next week. Is it like anybody <laughs> can show up and go get one? You don't have to be a certain age. How long are you supposed to wait to get your second booster shot? <laughs> Five months is what it said on the website. Four, four. Anything up to four. I think it is four. But, so but five months. Huh. interesting. I made I made an appointment as soon as it was available on CBS, and then I canceled it the next day after I read a New York Times article. About it. <laughs> because one of the points was, if you've had COVID recently, that's like getting yeah. a second booster, and I did. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, yeah probably too. Yeah. But yeah. I'm gonna be flying out to DC, North Carolina, and mm -hmm. New York. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You, you, haven't had you haven't had COVID, so yeah. And, and then my second seen... fuel shot too. Yeah. Have any of you ever seen this product? Is this available in America? What is Tafix? It? It's, it's an Israeli pharmaceutical company developed this last year. And what it is, it's an anti-COVID medication. And it's a powder. And if you go out in a, in a, in a crowd, <clears throat> the idea is before you go out and get exposed to COVID, you put this up, you know, it's a sinus spray of a powder and it forms a gel, an acidic gel inside your sinuses. And if a virus comes up into your nose, then it gets neutralized. It's a barrier that prevents oh. you from contracting COVID. Mm. You breathe. Skeptical mm. alarms going off. Skeptical yeah. alarms. Yeah, so it's fine. Yeah. It's called tactics. It's called tactics. It it's just, it's not, it's not, I don't think I don't know if it's available in the United States yet, but it's in Europe and it just came to Thailand just a few weeks ago. I wonder if it works on pollen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's a barrier. It's, it's a, well, it's the a fact that it's barrier. called a personal antivirus makes me wonder. Like, how many times do you have to update it? Uh, it costs more if you get corporate licensing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but this is um, but this is good for five hours. You um, you put this up your nose, and it forms this barrier gel, and it's good for five hours. Hmm. But there were some studies. Go online. It's very interesting. The story it, of this, how it's developed. Is it, it also blocks oxygen, so you can't breathe very well afterwards. But you know, at least you won't have COVID. Right. <laughs> is it uncomfortable uh, and, like coating the inside of your nose well, that seems like it would be uncomfortable but if you're a mouth breather use, it doesn't make a difference then. no no i use it actually i used it for the first we just got this i used it for the first time yesterday you don't feel a thing nothing huh. and he doesn't have covid so it works mm -hmm. and, right. and he knows mm -hmm. and if you're constipated can you put it up the other end will it do the job <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. oh, there it is. There's letters. He's a charmer, isn't he? No, no, no. He's you charmer. want the diarrhea. If you have diarrhea, that's what. Maybe. But it says it blocks 97% of any viruses in the nasal cavity. That 3%. That's what it says. Yeah. And, I mean, that's, know, that's what it all, says. All yeah. claims on all products are 100% true. Well, here you go. Here's the <laughs> National Library of Medicine article on it. Yeah. What does it say? Hey. Spanish regulators ban uh, the nasal spray. Oh, yeah, it was banned. That's more of an EU. Is that because of the? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's because they want to kill people with the virus, and this is going to stop that. Because you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's well, a clinical trial going on with this spray right now. I've pulled up. Yeah, a couple. there is. So yeah. there, there is See, some science. Somewhere. They're seeing. Yeah. Experience. Conclusion. Oh, here's the. Here I'm gonna, first. I'm going to paste the conclusion from the link that yeah. I just posted. Okay, here we go. So There's here's the next testing in Thailand. <laughs> testing <laughs> in Jamie's house. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's, go, the, here's the game so far is where we're at at the moment. We can see that the the questions are all very close together. We have 14, uh, 13, 17, 16, 17. So that's really tight. So 
I think that this next category is going to be too easy for you. So I, I'm going to let you do it anyway, but I think yeah. it's just too easy. Okay. But let's find out. So the next category, what I've been trying to do in this whole game is I've been trying to make sure that everybody has the ability to answer these questions are not like all one type of nerd or, or literary or whatever. I wanted, I want to have everybody should be able to, I hope, to say, I knew that. And everybody else probably didn't because that's what I want to try to do this time. So this game, this category right here is called popular board games. You probably should have all have heard of these. Um, and so that should be, should be simple. So let's see here. Here we go. First question. How many letter tiles are in the standard Scrabble game? Question two, how many points is the letter K worth in Scrabble? Question three, I love that you guys are so good. You didn't have to even mute them, Adrian. What is the name of the least expensive Monopoly property? Anybody not played Monopoly here? You mean the original Monopoly or the Australian Monopoly or the British the Monopoly? The original or... Monopoly. Hmm. Hmm. original one number two or number four if you're on go in monopoly what would you need to have to roll to land on the first railroad question five let's spell something Yeah, I got an extra R, I an extra R in there. Um, question five, how many chance squares are there on a standard Monopoly board? Question six. <clears throat> Oops, another misspelling. Goodness gracious, Gerbic. All right, this is misspelled. In the original Trivial Pursuit game, what color represents the geography category? Ooh. I didn't get I didn't get muted by the way. No. I don't think any of us are. You guys are Nobody being good. Muted. You're being good. We're, so good. we're behaving. So, yeah. We're, we're well. It only took a hundred games to figure out. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna mute everybody now though, because they're not yeah. behaving. Yeah, uh, exactly. No, don't do it. Uh, okay, question seven. In clue. What is the name of the murder victim? Now there's a UK version and there's a North American version. So either answer is correct. Number eight. What is the name of the Colonel in Clue who's represented by the yellow token? Number nine. This is going way back. In Candyland, the story focuses on finding the lost king of Candyland. What is the king's name? Susan, I didn't know how to read yet when I played Candyland. <laughs> well, this should be interesting then. Okay, question 10 is a little bit longer. This board game has players compete to be the first to send their four pieces all the way around the board using a device in the center of the board called a Pop-O-Matic, and that's trademarked. It is called Frustration in UK and Kimball in Finland. What is it known as in America and possibly Canada? I don't know. pop -omatic. So these are all 10 games. Hopefully you guys have played these or something. <laughs> so DJ Rooms, have fun. Nostalgia, that's what it's all about. Friendship, birthdays, nostalgia. Have as many birthdays as you possibly can. Rank them up, rack them up, get them something like that.
How did you not ask a risk question, Susan? Is it sorry or sorry? <laughs> Depends on which side of the board you buy it on. I yeah. guess, yeah. <laughs> How do you spell sorry? S O R R Y. Yeah, you, yeah. So I'm sorry, but it's sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. You're, you're sure sorry is the game with the Popomatic? Yes. The Not trouble. Popomatic. I thought I trouble know. Oh, you know what? Automatic. It could be trouble. Yeah. Trouble. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, you rolled dice. Carl, you have a different answer. Is trouble? Yeah. Uh, trouble, I'm pretty sure, is the game with the pop matic Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's already on yeah. question 10. Yeah, yeah well, because I'm sorry we're so it's fast. Around. <laughs> trouble. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm in trouble. Sorry. Yeah, he's sorry. It's trouble. Yeah. Sorry, it's trouble. Okay. Yeah. Question ten. Uh, question two is five. Question yep. two is definitely five. I think um, one is a hundred. Okay. I couldn't remember. There's a lot of them. Night, sweetie. Two in the morning. Breeze Mediterranean uh, Avenue. What? Is it Mediterranean? Who, whoever played yeah, it with is. a whole set of tiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. Sometimes Nobody there's new games. There. It's brand new at one it. point. Sometimes tiles become cat toys. Mm -hmm. And they disappear under fridges. Are we thinking over 100? Well, maybe this is the reason that uh, she picked this because the answer is 100. Uh, 100? Oh, maybe. Sure, why not? Maybe. But how many points is a letter K worth? Is it yes. eight points? They're eight, eight points? Is, is it eight it's... or ten? I'm guessing. You think it's that high? Q is ten. I'm guessing eight, eight points, maybe. I don't eight. think it's that I don't think it's that high. You don't think it's that high? Yeah, not for a K. Q is yeah, Q is ten. Um because K isn't I mean, yeah, K is in words, but it's not yeah. Maybe six. Five. Five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, uh, I, 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 uh, Hi. Least, least expensive. I mean, it, it's I Mediterranean. It, yeah, Mediterranean. Mediterranean okay. Avenue. Okay, I was going to say the other one's Baltic. Baltic, Baltic. And Mediterranean. I've yeah. played that on my phone so many times. Oh. <laughs> are they the same price, Baltic and Mediterranean? The same one price? Of or are they... um, slightly no, more, one of those is slightly cheaper. I, I think yeah. the Mediterranean is sure. the cheaper one. I'm hoping okay. I'm right with that. That's okay. my yeah. in initial instinct. So hopefully Me too. that's correct. Me too. That, is, that is my initial instinct as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah. And uh, five for that one, yeah. And then number... Well, we it's just S3. So we're missing a guy. You're, you're muted, Susan. You're muted. There's another team that only has three. Uh -huh. I want to say it's King Candy, but that might be too simple. Because every one of the characters, like there's like this one creature that's made out of fudge. Or it could be King Gumdrop. I never played a game. <laughs> How could y'all not? Like mine came with the VH VHS tape. Like, never oh played God. it. And well, we I, I would have played it before there was such a thing as any kind of personal recorder, so mine didn't come with a VHS tape. But that was the thing back in the 80s, is like you got the VHS tape to go with the board game, oh. and you played the tape while you played your game to coincide along with it. We were too poor to buy it. Yeah. Oh, hush. hush. Number 10 is Trouble. Yep, that I played a lot. That I played a ton no of. No VHS tape. <laughs> um, let's go with King Candy. Okay. Sounds like a feminine name, though. So I don't know. Well, because there's the gumdrop. There's the fudgy guy. The fudgy guy. <laughs> yeah, the one that the, the, the goopy guy made out of fudge. We'll Princess play. Lollipop. We'll play Candyland the, every, all the time. I'm out there, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Get a game. We'll we'll sit and play it. We'll drink. We'll have a blast. 
No, we bought a zoo. So. Yeah. <gasps> Did you really? We have yeah. it, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nobody will play <laughs> with me anymore. I love that game. And I bought the next one, the uh, pavilion game. And nobody, we sat around trying to figure out the rules on it. We figured out the rules and everybody goes, okay, well, it's time to go home now. I'm like, I want to play. There's nobody to play with. You know what game I feel very guilty playing now? And as we've discussed, Susan, I played a lot. I've tried to get you to play with me, but you won't. Risk. Yeah. And I feel guilty. I'm I'm attacking other countries, including Russia and from Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine and Russia. It's like, take over Ukraine. It's like, holy crap. What am I, I doing I played the here? game. I talked Caspian to playing it with me, and it was like playing Monopoly. Nobody's a friend after that. I was like, okay. At one point, I said, Caspian, we can quit if you really want to. No. No. Like, we see no. I said, Caspian, you don't have a chance. I'm going to come in. I'm going to wipe your face off this board. We went to we went on vacation with my family, and we were playing. Me, and my sister, my nephew, and Ramiro were all playing life together. <laughs> and at some point, him and my nephew were negotiating, pulling their money together to see if they could beat me or my sister. <laughs> oh, that's another fun game. Yeah, but yeah, yeah like, we'll, we'll have to play. We'll have to play Risk, but I only play the traditional game because that's the only. Yeah, way me too. Well, out. the only on, online. But nobody ends up leaving friends. Yeah, I, I've tried the other geographies, and it just seems too freaking weird. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go play with other people okay. for the moment. So you guys have. I think there's the pandemic game, which is like. But we're definitely playing Azul. Dip <laughs> on it. I, I'm You're dying to play. Everybody's ass. I'm only coming to play Azul. I I I would. I'm, I brought it with me and uh, I, I took it over to the, to the lounge car. And I asked the, there's a couple of girls. I said, Hey, you guys want to play this? Oh, sure. And then nobody knew what it was. And as we were playing more and more people came, eventually we had filled the entire car up with <laughs> people playing this thing. But the, the funniest thing was that there's an old guy, an old guy is probably younger than me. There's an old guy mm-hmm. sitting across on the, right across from me. And I kept asking, do you want to play? And he goes, no, no, he doesn't want to play. But every time there was a question and they would say the question, he, you could you'd see him, he'd either go, that's right, or that's wrong. He knew the answer to every single question. Didn't want to play, though. You know. What game was oh. this? Uh, Trivial mm-hmm. Pursuit. So, oh, it was I love Pursuit. so it was just amazing because no one had ever played it. No one had heard of it. And it was just amazing how addictive that game was for a while. You know? Oh, yeah. I've got, I think, all the versions. Yeah. I loved it. But, but uh, and Caspian loves playing. But the only way you play is with a team. Otherwise, you're just there forever. If you've got, like, everybody's... Right, yeah yeah but that, and that was that was the kind of thing where i was, i i learned I, I i'm a slow learner but i figured that my my if i my uh my first guess was usually you know an impulse guess was usually probably more accurate than over, yeah. like what we do here overthinking it you know how are you guys doing by the way done great oh, well we get done okay let me get out of here and i'll call you guys back all right why mess around Let's close these rooms. Anybody winning milk duds? They're like almost the perfect candy. You guys are back. Where did else go? We get an extra point as usual. Is Larry, is Larry just still asleep and just yeah. plugged in? Wow. So Susan, do you have me down for next week? Yes. And I have you and Kyle and that's it. So I probably should remind me that before I don't. Yeah, do it earlier rather than later because there's more people to ask. Than if right, you... I should have done that after the second one. I forgot. Right. Do, right do it when everybody comes back here. I mean, that's, yeah. I have to be careful. I've been making all these old age jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to, uh, Rob just reminded me that I have next week for our game 101 is uh, Rob and Carl. That's all I've got on there. And they're doing categories. So I need two more player, two more categories and a bonus. So I'm just letting you know, start thinking about it. Let me know if you want to text me or just whatever. But before I start assigning who it is, who's going to do it. <laughs> I'll do one. Robin's got it. All right. I have some categories staved up. Okay, there you go.
I need a bo bonus then. Think about it. Is that is that Leonard's arm going up? <laughs> is that what I saw? I think I saw Leonard's arm going I think, up. I think Faith might want to do the bonus, but something we just discussed. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't do it. I'm not going to be there next week. Oh, cancel. Everybody cancel. <laughs> How's your hip, Leonard? Uh, incredibly good. Good. It's doing Great. very well. I'll do it, Susan. Faith has got bonus. Because <laughs> we talked about sort of a category. Okay. Well, good. Well, now Rob's got an edge. Yeah. So I'll definitely put him on a date. No, maybe not. Okay. So this was easy, right, you guys? I liked hearing your stories about the good days everybody had of playing playing games, except we didn't have good memories of risk, which is why Rob, Rob's like, why didn't you ask about risk? I'm going, there's no good memories of risk. I <laughs> love that. A, I, as, I, I agree love not have many good memories about Monopoly, but. Oh yeah, same, yeah. Well, the same no. way. I mean, I didn't play it a lot. Thing. Somebody wins and everybody hates that person. So, I, I Monopoly remember. was my a way to dominate my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember my cousin flipping the board over and on risk. There's a comedian oh, man, does, who does a joke. Every Monopoly game ends with somebody flipping the board. <laughs> yes. oh, oh, before, risk. before Julie and I dated, it's we true. actually were at a friend group thing that uh, we a were playing group. risk. And I made a, I made a play that, uh, that she, like she and everybody else at except for me and the person I was like having the negotiation with who I was like, okay, my negotiation with you is like, we both don't attack each other and I will guarantee you second place. And, <laughs> uh, and he was good with it. And she was so mad at me for I a would. really long time. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys managed to get married after that. I know. That would have been the last date. Wow. Okay, so let's go over these games, and this is kind of a blast from the past. So let's see how well you guys did. Question number one: the answer is one hundred. Or cien. <gasps> oh wow! Wild ass guess. There are a hundred tiles in the That's game. Amazing. Question number two: the points in the letter K is five points. Cinco. There you go. Okay. What is the name? Of yeah, uh, what is the name? A lot of this is you guys have got this. You just it's in there somewhere. You're just gonna pull it out. The the name of the least expensive property yeah. a monopoly is Mediterranean Avenue. I think it's what two dollars rent. Is that sound mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. 50, 50 shot. We got it wrong. Baltic is You're four, done. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Baltic yeah. is the big spender. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite properties. If you are on go. If you're standing on goal, if your token is on go, what do you have to roll to get to the first railroad? The number is five. Your favorite number. It's if not my on... favorite number. My favorite number is eight. What? But there's no eight on the six-sided die. Mm. So I just picked a random number and I picked five. Yeah, look, Rich is showing. You got an eight. Yeah, go but ahead. not on a six die. So how many chance squares are there on a standard Monopoly board? Three. <gasps> thanks kevin remember that wrong okay trivial pursuit the color oh. that represents geography in the original trivial pursuit is blue oh i always when they went in the later games and I, I have all the versions i think in the later games they changed the categories and the colors and stuff and it's like what the heck people why would you do that in clue the name of the murder victim in the uk it's dr black in the United States, it's Mr. Body. If you guys remember the the very popular movie called Clue, you, with, um, my face, the flames, the flames, the flames, the flames, the flames, the flames. Yeah, <laughs> you guys gotta watch that movie. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, with um, one of our favorite people, what's the guy who stars in it? Tim Tim Curry. Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. Yeah, he's he is amazing. Tim Curry, he is amazing. Rocky oh, Mr. Body oh, and with Dr. all the Mark. alternate, like you watch the version with all the alternate endings, it's really good. Yeah, well, he's got it on the end of the clue. It's got all those, and yeah. he's running around, man. Are, it's are you such a shame. In the now. chat? Oh, you need him to be in the chat? Well, they were so easy. I felt. Yeah, I, I missed good. a couple. Okay, all right, I can do that. So, first one is a hundred. Yep. Second one is five. Yep. Mediterranean is three. Yep. And then it's five, 
Yeah. Uh, roll, and then three for how many chance squares, and then the next one is blue. Okay. Cool. And then in question number seven, the answer is Doctor Black or Mister Body. The name of the colonel in clue, represented by the yellow token, which is a hint, is Colonel Mustard. And this one I know, unless she talked herself out of it and changed her mind, that uh, Faith got right. It's King Candy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We reasoned oh, that out. Yeah. We did. And it's right to the K. Cast. It's candy with a K, but I'm not going to hold you guys Glad to she that. didn't let me talk her out of it. I thought that was too much of a feminine name. Yeah. Sounds like a stripper name. And the last one is not sorry, it's trouble. Yeah. Yay. I think Yay, we had some good trouble. scores in this game. I, next time I do this, I'm going to be way tougher on you guys because this is just too easy. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Well, yeah, we didn't get them all. Well, it's, easy it's, it. it's easy if you know the answers. It's not easy. Yeah, if you know that's the true. Okay, let's see here. Let's start with uh, 64. How'd you do? So wait, you said the answer to the last one is trouble. Trouble. Mm -hmm. trouble. Not, not sorry. No, automatic trouble. Sorry, it's trouble. Not sorry. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> and Bummer. sorry, as I heard Janine say, sorry, sorry you rolled dice. I'm sorry you had trouble with that question. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, use cards. Aren't are Baltic and Mediterranean aren't the same price? They're different nope. prices. Mediterranean they are. Different. Two, oh, I think it's and, sixty and eighty. And four for um. Well, rent. yeah, rent. It's all yeah, it's but the, one of the, the actual price is like sixty and eighty. Yeah, yeah they uh, are we well, have there's only two, five. So you have five. Five on sixty-four. Okay, sure. We needed okay. more boomers. More boomers. Okay, <laughs> fist my bump with fourteen points. How many you got? I have seven. Yes. Okay, that's respectable. Uh, slap Susan for a splendid sentinel. Sentinel. Sent, <laughs> Just make up. Centennial. Centennial. Slap for the splendid centennial nine, celebrations. Nine. There. Ooh, <laughs> nine. Okay, so let's go the honeybee democracy. Uh, thanks to me talking us out of a point, nine. <laughs> uh, which one was that carl uh the 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 railroad thing oh, the, right the, idea, but the wrong number of squares. Did, you, did you think it was 12 across yeah i, for, I forgot that it's 12 across and not 10 it's 10 across it's 10 so it's it's, 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 10. It's, it's 11 if you count both ends yes yeah, right right oh yeah, yeah. So, so yeah um, but it takes 10 10 to yeah. get to the other side Right. A hundred ideas for a name, but we didn't like any of them. Seven. Five on each side of the centerpiece. Wow, you guys Correct. are all still kind of together there. Ooh, yeah, yeah, We're yeah, number yeah. two. We're number two. We're number two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this our last category category. This category I'm calling rando or are they? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna mute everybody. I love it. <laughs> okay, question number one. Oops. Question number one. The current flag of China is mostly red with five yellow what on it? Question two, how many time zones does Alaska have? Question three, what is the name of the famous Grant Wood painting that features a serious looking farm couple? I'll look at your guys' little faces as I ask these questions. <laughs> um, question four, a hanging cluster is known as a bunch, which is bananas, 20, 60 to 2,000 bananas. What is a tier of bananas called, which is about 20 bananas? Are 
Are you sure you didn't just give us the answer? Nope. I, I want to know what a tier of bananas is called. What does that mean, a tier? Well, not a it's, tier. No, it's, it's 20, 20 bananas is a tier. So what is that called besides a tier? Besides a tier. And a hanging cluster is 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 about 60 to 2,000. No, there's another answer. What? I don't think I understand the question. Well, read it. I want to know what a tier of bananas is called. Besides the tier. <laughs> Besides the tier. Besides the tier. What is what's another name for a tier of bananas? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. So number five, who is the only American to be elected governor of two different states in the United States? I believe we've had that question before. Some variant of it, I think. Question six. The first woman to climb Pikes Peak in Colorado was a mother of what famous adventurer? Question seven. This 1982 UK movie had 300,000 extras. So what's the name of the movie? Which video played number eight? Which video played on MTV and was called, or who, what was, okay. I want to know the name of the first video played on MTV, either the, the group or the name of the video. MTV was this thing way back in the 80s called music television. It was phenomenal. I called out sick for days just to sit and watch it because I was mesmerized. Never seen anything like that in my life. That was amazing. MTV was like, what is this? That was crazy. Karen's nodding her head. She knows, she remembers. Flipping amazing. And then it changed a lot, but boy. Number nine, number nine, number nine. Tennis champion, Martina Navatorova defected from what country? Martina Navatorova. Navratilova. Navatorova. That's not Slova. If you say it fast, it's easier. Our team name next year, next week. <laughs> question 10. And the last question in this category I'm calling rando, or are they, is what role did Dennis Weaver play on the TV show Gunsmoke? Hopefully, you guys are got enough broadness in your categories there that you should probably be able to remember or know these things so or flip a flip a coin let's go to our rooms because you guys are so good at this i'm so proud i'm so proud to have run 100 games this is great <laughs> Okay, what about so number, number four? four? Um, isn't that called a hand? No idea. Hand. And I, I apologize, team. I always get sorry and trouble confused. So my apologies oh, for that answer. <laughs> I believe the answer to number two is two. Yeah, I thought it was two. Okay. Star is number one. Star is number everyone good with one, right? Yeah, yep. I put stars on there. Uh, what is American the Gothic. Yeah, that's what it was. I knew oh, it was American something. I couldn't remember the other one. Thank you. Excellent. Who was it? Where it comes east into, you know, like into, into the northwest end of Canada and then how much it goes to the west in the Aleutian Islands. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's practically in okay. Russia. So let's put three for that. that is the painting is American Gothic, yes? Yes. That's what and uh, about the bananas, I got no idea. It's also called... Of course she'd show up for that. <laughs> a clutch. I don't know. A gorilla's paw. Who a knows? peel. A peel. A peel. 
No, that's I a legal term. Too. Peggy would remember it if it was a legal term. Yeah, no, term I, for banana? A, I wouldn't. And B, I don't think it's legal. Yeah. You know the banana question? Shut up with your banana question. Well, that's what I'm asking. Why would there be a legal thing to do with bananas that you would know? Yeah. Th peel. That that's a good question. Caspian suggested it was a peel. I'm just wondering why Peggy would be. Well, maybe there's people who are lawyers that deal with produce. Bananas. Yeah, produce. Of course. Produce lawyers. Okay. International Trade. produce. I'm sure they're. And that's at your field, right, Peggy? Y no. <laughs> No, I, I only destroy production. the family fiber by letting people get divorced. Uh, you and Robin, man, you guys must trade some nasty stories. I'm make sure you invite me. Yeah, really. I want to hear a uh, tier of bana 20 bananas would be because, see, I would have said 20 bananas would be the bunch, but if a bunch is all those 60 to 200, a half bunch, a demi bunch. If you do 20 divorces, what do you call that? Um, an average day, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now we've got our answer. <laughs> How about a dodeca banana? Sure. A banana. Wait, no, that's not a dodecahedron. What is, what is Virginia? Like, you know, or might transition to do that. Um, like like somebody like Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, you know, like yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't. A row of bananas. Okay. Good. I don't know. Who's, who's been elected governor of two different states? I don't know. Susan. Uh, Susan's here. She said. I thought she said we use that, but I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. Not sure if that comes up. Jesse Don't, Ventura? No. Probably in the early days. Oh, God. Well, it's not the guy that tried to become governor after he got his medical license taken away. Who's that? The guy who installed goat glands in other people's bodies. I oh, I got name. that book. I haven't read it. Yep. Rockery? Charlatan. It's Charlatan. I have it. I've started to read it many times. I I'm thinking of somebody when we were still adding states to the union and somebody was a governor in the east and then moved west and became governor or something like that, in which case I'll never remember. Carl would know. Yeah, we we'll probably get that right. All right, let's let's skip that one. Okay. For woman, anybody remember this one? Woman no. climbing Pike Peak? Before he became, before he, he was, in, I think, it, in his 20s or 30s. To make uh, it all the more humiliating that his 90-year-old mother climbed Pike's Peak. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But we're... Uh, UK movie. That's Gandhi. Oh, cool. Now we're in the 80s. <laughs> okay. It's not our best fitting. I, I got number eight if you guys don't have it. I think it's Video Queen. killed the radio star. Yeah, by the Boggles. Buggles. The Buggles. Okay. What? Video killed the radio star by the Buggles. Video killed the radio star. I remember that song. MT, MT, I know. I know the second one. I I asked the question. The category was two. Thriller, the right? Song I ever played was a uh, was a Pat Benatar. Pat song. Benatar. Wow, you guys. Uh, MTV is still a thing, yeah. It's still around. Yeah, yeah they don't yeah, really they don't play have any videos, movie videos. Uh, it's just like talk shows or like a oh. reality shows of young people who. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that the people who were really made MTV were are now grandparents. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. A nine is uh, the former Czechoslovakia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Czechoslovakia. Yes. Well, yes. no, it would have been Czechoslovakia. It would have been Czechoslovakia <laughs> then. Yep. Yeah. Dennis Weaver. No idea. Uh, Mark yeah. Wasn't he Carter. Festus? Festus. No, 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 no. no. What'd you say? My, uh, James. James said something. I'm yeah, saying uh, Marshall Festus Parker. Oh, it okay. wasn't Festus. Was he uh -huh. even in that? I mean, they obviously was. I don't. Yeah, he I was in it he, early. He was in it early. He it was Festus Parker. Really? Wasn't it? I'm no, Festus is the character that was always there. I know. He was but, always the guy with the chuck wagon there. But whatever isn't they the mean. guy who played Festus didn't he go on to own some big um, hotel in Santa Barbara? That's not. 
Dennis Weaver, is it? The guy who played Festus was not Dennis Weaver. Yeah. No, unless, was... unless they replaced him, and I'm and I'm thinking I didn't know that. Did they replace the character with another guy? Well, Dennis Weaver was the marshal, like James right. said. Yeah. And Festus, yeah. I think it was on at the same time. He's a different character. Oh, uh, Dennis Weaver wasn't the marshal. No, he wasn't the marshal. He wasn't the marshal. Oh, he wasn't? No. He was like, he was like a, a deputy or something. Yeah. Oh. The marshal was that other guy, James Arness. Yeah. And Miss Kitty. Remember Miss Kitty? Yeah. And yeah. early yeah. on, Dennis forget. Weaver. He was, was a hooker, years. but we didn't know that. I knew. <laughs> was it, uh, was it Marshall, Marshall was, Dillon? Was, Marshall Dillon was the. No, he was the main guy. The main guy, yeah. Mr. Hmm. Dillon. It, it, one of the early episodes Dennis Weaver was in, but then he was uh, was not in it later, only in the early, in the beginning. She was a hooker with a heart of gold. So she was. She was not well, the hooker. She was. They were interested in. She was the. She was the mother. Like, what do they call it? Oh, she, madam. Oh, the madam. The madam. She was the madam. You guys, did you she guys hear about the she, time she, that Dennis Weaver was at the Playboy Mansion, and Hefner goes and sits on his lap, and then Mick Jagger comes over and says, "Hey, Hugh, get off of McLeod." <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm glad people are old enough to get that. I'm glad we <laughs> recorded that a little bit. I, I, I that may be world enough. famous. That will be held on Twitter. It'll be all over. Okay, here's a weird thing. Was McLeod, I mean, I remember McLeod. That wasn't yeah, McLeod was his McLeod. other TV show. That wasn't yeah. a yes, spinoff from Gunsmoke, was it? No. 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 It was totally different. McLeod was, was at the time and wife. It was with McLeod and Wife. McLeod and Wife and Columbo. 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 I want to rewatch that someday. There was four of them. There were. Susan, for, for number 10, when you say what role, are you looking for the name of the character or like what profession the character was? Well, I want the name. I better go tell everybody. I oh, want the name. the name. Give me the name. Oh. Okay, so I'm in room 64, right? Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay, you guys got it. Uh, never mind. Pass you up. Right. Right. Yeah, she That's has right. no identity I'm here to of give her clarification. Own. I'm not exactly a women's history month question. There's a cat, but as I'm trying to talk to you guys, a clarification on question ten. I'm looking for the person's name, not their role, like a what. Okay. Okay, just letting you know. Oh, so you mean the actor's name? No, no, like the name of the character, not oh, okay. like. Not like not they were the role, bartender. Not what function yeah, not like, bartender. Not like assistant sheriff or, yeah. Lead yeah. supporting actor. <laughs> okay. We haven't gotten that far yet, but okay. Well, I just got to make sure I've told everybody now. Okay. S-T-A-L-K. I've already told you guys. Okay, let's see. They move around and you. Okay, here we go. First, a moment. I'm here to give clarification on question okay. 10. On which one? Question 10. I'm looking for the person's name, the character's name, not the character's like yeah. occupation. Bartender. That's, that's clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody else wasn't clear. So. Wait a minute. Sorry again. Maybe it's not clear. What do you mean like bartender? Well, he the person I'm looking for is not the bartender's. You know, you, the answer I'm not looking for is bartender or you Chuck want the Wagon. name, you don't want their occupation. Yeah, I you want, want the, the character's name. name. Right, but not, not their, their occupation. occupation on the show. Oh, okay. Somebody, yeah. somebody thought I meant role as a. So, so did I actually, for some reason. Interesting one. Okay. How are you guys doing? How far are you? These are harder than we the hate other ones. you. Oh, yeah. cool. Damn, about time something hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if you, if there's a theme, maybe it'll help. Well, you said that, but we don't. I'm not seeing it, so. It's, it's when you don't get enough right, then you don't get a theme to help you with the others. So, so, so. Interesting. That's 22. No idea. No, 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 five. No, no, no. Number 10. Five. He, James says four. You're number saying 10. one. Number 10. His name was Chester. Chester, not yeah. Festus. Yeah. Chester. But I don't Chester. know his last name. He was like, Marshall he's a deputy Chester. or something. Okay. Oh, Chester will probably do it if he's so like that. How okay. are we going to decide about the bananas? Hmm. You I think it's about bananas. 
I think it's yeah. Close. We don't know what this is. I, I'm wondering if there's a theme to this because she said or are they? So if there's no, that theme, could help you. If there was a theme, it would definitely help. You. I that's don't what think I mean. A theme. I think she's messing with us. You don't think there's a theme, or you think there is one? She wouldn't do I that, don't. would she? Yes, she would because Randall or are they? So it's random, but really there's some sort bananas. of theme. Twenty bananas is called. Almost so we got different dozen. countries. American, we got America in there. We got Czechoslovakia in okay. there. Okay, you quietly ponder that, Kevin, while we figure out the rest <laughs> of the answers. Thank, thank you, Karen. It's great. Because there's no bonus for knowing what they all have in common. No, but it helps you find what the other ones are. Okay. Wow. What was the okay. answer to ten? Wait, Chester. 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 Okay, adventurer. Who's an adventurer? Hmm. A I mean, uh, Teddy Roosevelt was not that much of an adventurer. It was, I mean, compared to some of the other. Oh, topics. he had some pretty had some pretty big adventures. No, he was you definitely could, a, he was definitely an adventurer. Yeah, he started but, but, but the national. What what good movies that. were around that time? Um, so the only movie that comes to mind uh -huh. is Chariots of Fire. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, that's a good choice. Oh, so um, I, I don't remember if there was a big um, crowd scene, you know, in one of the right because that was about things a race. Yeah, the other one is what was the movie about India? It was Gandhi? Remember these huge crowds of Indians? The movie that was supposed to take place in India. It was a UK movie. Um, it was an Indian, was a movie, um, like Gandhi. Was it Gandhi? I have no idea what, what you're talking about. I mean, you're, asking, you're asking what this Gandhi movie was. What I, huh? Wait, Was it a movie called Gandhi? It was a very famous movie that took place. It was about Gandhi. And had huge crowds of Indians, but it was filmed in the UK. But it had huge crowds of, yeah, of Indians. Was um, it no, just no called idea. Gandhi? But it was a famous movie about India during that time. Shit. Where's Gail, by the way? What? I don't I, know. No, no idea. Were we no supposed idea. to get Gail? Because we've been down two people for the last two rounds. Yeah, there's another one that's also down, it has three people. No, you weren't supposed yeah. to get Gail, but I was wondering where she was. Oh. No, no, no idea. No idea. She's only your sister. I know. <laughs> are you are you not your sister's keeper? <laughs> nope. I keep forgetting that Jamie and Gail are related. I'm like, that's why you're asking. I'm like, wait, were we supposed to get Gail? We need more people. Yeah. Yeah, usually she comes. I'm surprised she didn't show up. Oh, you keep moving. Um, I mean, Chariots of Fire, would it have been, you know, had a big crowd watching the race? I don't know. It's a, that's the only movie I could think of. Because that, that timing-wise fits. But I have no idea. <laughs> Unless, like Jamie's saying, it's a movie about Gandhi, but I don't. Yeah, it's, you're talking like the one where um, Ben Kingsley played him. Yes, but what's the name of that movie? That's the one. I, I think know. it was. I think that. I think it was, it was just, it just called Gandhi. Yeah. And would that be the right time, eighty-two, and that would have had yeah. a lot of extras. They had, yeah. Well, there were some huge. Things. There were some huge crowd scenes. Yeah. Do we like that? Over chariots of fire or no? Yeah, I can't think of a crowd scene that would require three hundred thousand extras. Yeah, three hundred thousand is a lot. Dude, that's why Gandhi. Okay. And then we have no clue on whoever this woman. Yes, so an adventurer. Who's a famous adventurer? And you guys um, know about question ten, right? I'm looking for a name. Yeah, yep. I have no. Okay. Yeah, we. 
we were the one that asked that. Yeah, okay, good. They get all sorted when you go into the rooms, they get they mix them up. So it's like, who in the heck did I talk yeah. about? Okay. There, that's our answer. <laughs> <laughs> Governor of two states, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. I can't name probably one governor. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> past governor. <laughs> governor of one state. Uh, Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Well, that I would believe because he was in Massachusetts and maybe. No, I don't think so. I don't think he ever. I don't think he governed outside of Massachusetts. He's in Utah now, though. Yeah. That's is true. he? He's yeah, retired he's, to Utah? I think he's, isn't he a, like in the House he's, or Senate or something? He's a senator, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's a mm -hmm. senator. Yeah. So, a next, state he'll, senator? He'll be, he'll be governor next. <laughs> because he voted uh, for the impeachment. Yeah. Being, right. That's the right. Republican senator. Mm. I thought, don't make me like Mitt Romney. <laughs> well, he has some likable qualities. But we'll just leave it. Yeah, at, we'll leave it as that. Nobody's, nobody's a complete. Nobody's a complete. <laughs> well, there are a lot of people who are complete something, but not everybody. Um, let's see. Well, let's name some old person that was governor of some. Come up with a theme. Uh, did she say there was a theme, or, or were we just guessing there's a theme? She did, or are, I said rando, uh, she, or are they? She kind of hinted if at there's a, If there's pulled, a theme, it will help you with the others, right? If and she's pulling a Kevin Mocker. Yeah. Let's see. Having a pull, ke pulling a Kevin Mocker, huh? We shall see. Huh. The mother, the name of I, the mother. I kind of assume it means the first documented woman because we have no idea whether some Native American woman. Oh, at any there point would have been years. many natives who did it well before the Euro. Yeah. Um, oh, and the name of the adventurer. Okay. Not the so, name not of the climber, the, the adventurer. So, shall we say Amelia Earhart or? I don't know. I got no clue. Oh, what right. about the the guy that flew across? What? How come I can't? Charles think? Lindbergh. Lucky Charles Lindy. Lindbergh. Oh, that could be sure. That was earlier, but not much earlier. Although, I, I, again, it's like I would call him a famous pilot, not a famous adventurer. No. That could just be a word she used to try not yeah, to give to away what the person did. Yeah. Right. Am I that clever? Sometimes, Susan. Yeah, Susan, 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 Susan that can't you? Be, I'm not that clever. <laughs> not that clever. <laughs> Only you would know that, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Well, Caspian's here, as you know. I should know what? What? Is well, there's... that clever? I'm not going to answer that question. That's just... Well, that's just... There, there's yeah, there's no not not on the recording for that answer for Caspian. That's like Susan, if you yeah. were like one of your one of your people, like that was if like a husband asks his wife or a wife asks his husband, do you think I'm fat? That's just a question. You just you don't go there, huh? Yeah, and then of course the woman would say you know the reason why men have a problem with answering that question is it starts with do you think <laughs> <laughs> so what question you guys stuck on six four and, and the six. word adventure yeah the word adventure is such a i don't know an, such a a I'm, word it's vague in a oh, way. A. First an A. Okay, that's a clue. Go away now, Susan. We'll talk about your clue. Thank you. A lot of word. A. Canadian A. A. Well, it's pretty much done.
So she's back. Just seeing where everybody's at. It looks like everybody's I mean, stuck I mean, like if everybody one else, question. if everybody else is good, then yeah, I don't know how much progress we're gonna make. So we're we're yeah, we basically done. Like we will, we will probably fill something in that blank, but we'll do it under duress. That one was evil, Susan. I didn't think that was evil at all. <sighs> Those are way too easy. Yeah. I had to leave the room because uh, Ben said, we're going to answer the last question under duress. Right as we're leaving the room, we're going to come up with an answer. <laughs> and when they just can't figure out. Everybody's stuck on like one question. And it, the we thing you thing is, it's a different question. Oh, okay. oh, which is really interesting. Some people were like, boom, I know the answer. And then other people were like, oh my gosh, what in um, the world? It's gonna we had to take, we had to take guesses at some. Let's see. Video. One one was though, you you I don't know if you didn't remember, but I think someone did flags just a week ago, two weeks ago. And so your question number one was embedded in that question. Hmm. Hmm. They showed the flags of all the countries, and that was one we had to pick. So. We had China? Yes. Here they come back, all my little minions. <laughs> we saw we conquered. <laughs> we don't like you. Yeah, Robin <laughs> and Faith are t telling me they don't like me very much. Romero's the smart one of the group, keeping his mouth shut. <laughs> um, hey, you know we may finish at a civil time tonight yeah, yeah. faith and love are just like hating on me okay here we go so did anybody figure out the theme nope no we that can't is, wait we can i mean if wait. we could figure out what some of the answers were that maybe would have helped <laughs> us <laughs> there were all questions okay question number one Oh, there it is. Is stars. I think everybody got that right. Question number two Alaska has two time zones. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, hey. oh, sorry, you guys. Some people I did see had it wrong. Number three, I think everybody right. got American Gothic. Hey. This one, number four, really screwed around with a lot of you people. Oh my gosh. Several <laughs> of the people are like, I have no idea. And then Jamie goes, that's a hand. Yeah, got it. <laughs> you exactly. Are you yeah, that's what I, I, that's that's what I guessed. totally guessed on that wrong. Yeah, but I, we looked up the definition of tear, and there's no way it could fit in the sense you used it in. But go on. Yeah, right, that's Carl. Cool. <laughs> well, we thought Carl it could have been a, it could have been a hanging Chad. They don't grow banana that many bananas in Florida. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, darn it. Uh, question number, what am I on? Five. 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 I don't know who got this, but the answer is Sam Houston. Oh! Girl, way to go. Yeah, that guy. Oh, God, we've it. had a question like this. We've had this question, but it's worded differently. Talk and the, and the it, states Karen. were Texas and Tennessee. So I if you so were going sorry, on the logic Kim. of, uh, you know, mm. how that went now, Romney was another one I've had. I saw several people answer. So I don't know if it's stuck or not, but it wasn't Romney. Romney's uh, senator now. Senator. He yeah, might end up becoming the governor the someday of uh, Utah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next one. This one, a lot of people had problems with it. This one was I did a whole category on this one adventurer, and this was question 11. And I reworded it so that it's here now for you. And the answer is Amelia Earhart. Oh. Oh. oh, her mother was. Oh my God, uh, that was the first thing I said. <laughs> you talked yourself out of it. We didn't, we just it was on our list. Well, and here's like one that. In my photo. Here, here's another one that I watched uh, oh. uh, Leonard and um, Jamie go back and forth on on this movie, and it's Gandhi is the answer. Yes. Yay. 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 But Jamie's like, "What is that movie about <laughs> India? It's about Gandhi. <laughs> it's just this is movie." And Leonard's like, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> no, it's Charity of the Gods. Well, yeah. maybe Charity of the Gods? No, oh, Chariots of Fire. Chariots of Fire, yeah. And he's like, right. no, 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 it's, no, it's, it's something no, about question, India. 
the question was, what is the name of the movie about Gandhi? It's Gandhi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the answer is Gandhi. Yay. I think everybody got this one. I don't know if you got the name of the group. I, um, I know Kevin, I think, did. Video kill the radio star. Mm -hmm. Did we get two points because we knew both? No. But that was, no. man, I was telling somebody, the MTV was it. When that came out, that was like, oh my gosh, what the hell is this? I swear, I, I called in sick for three days at work or something because I just could not take my eyes off of that thing. Even though the videos were just looping, there was only like 16 videos or something. But I could not mm -hmm. believe it. That was just incredible. It was like watching Disney for the first time or something, you know, a cartoon. Next one. I'm on 16. Yeah. Because I did the research when I did that. <laughs> Category. Yeah, I knew we had something like that before. Czechoslovakia, that's what it was called at the time wow. for the country. And uh, this is Chester, is the last answer. Oh. Question 10. All right. Oh, this was the old And the uh, thread that binds them all together is, Susan? There is none. Ah! Yay! <laughs> all of the questions and true question random. Mark. Oh, oh so? I should have you with the Woody. I mean, All of the questions contained vowels. Yeah, there you go. There you what go. it is is I keep a very large spreadsheet, and Rob, you better keep your toes off. <laughs> I keep a large spreadsheet of all questions that I come up with. Just I've got tons of questions on there, and they've been sitting there for ages because I'm not doing categories anymore. So I went through and just picked out some of my random ones that I hadn't that have been sitting there forever. So then you some of them, like the bananas one, I was trying to turn into a category on just bananas. But I can't come up with a lot of trivia questions for bananas. I've only got like three <laughs> or four. So, you know. You better write the Wikipedia page then. <laughs> so is there a theme? What's the theme? <laughs> there, was no, a theme. There, there is no theme. There's no theme? theme, theme. Was, I was hoping to see if you guys came thinking, up with a theme. No, someone needed to do this at some point, which is to say, are they random? Yes. They're random. <laughs> and that is what we got. You got a random. The theme was randomness. They were, yes. Yes. The, the theme was these the are theme old was questions lie. that have been sitting on my spreadsheet. No. For, the theme was a lie. That's the uh, answer. Said, the or are they? And the answer was, was yes, like they are. Caspian and I want to, I look at them all the time and I said, I better take some of these off. Hey, Susan, hmm? do you have a link for the Amelia Earhart thing? I wrote the category for Amelia Earhart, and that was one of the, that was the 11th question. And I didn't ask it. So, okay, yes, there's I asked a yes or no question. And the answer is there is one somewhere and I'm not looking it up right now. Okay. That's how it is. Okay. So let's get our scores, 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 <laughs> scores, scores, everyone. Okay. Here we go. All the people who don't like me are putting their wordles in the chat. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Negative points for people who put rules in the chart. Uh, okay, question 64. I mean, group 64, what'd you come up with? Seven. That might be good. Look at that. Look at you guys. Woohoo. Put you right in the running there. Yeah. yeah. That's my bump. Five. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Looky, looky, looky. All right, 100 ideas for a name, but we didn't like any of them. Six. And to slap Susan for the splendid centennial celebration. So there. Six. Hmm. We have a six category. The honeybee democracy. Eight. Mm. Wow. So somebody mm. is in the lead. Mm. So this next what next category. Let's see what it does. Um, you ready? Mm. All right. For the final no. round of our first of the 300, uh, 300 number series, when you think of it that way. Okay, this is the bonus question from our first game ever. <laughs> yeah. I've changed a little bit. So mm -hmm. there are 21 California missions. And I made this, when I made this out originally and put you guys in your teams, I tried to make sure at least one of you, there was at least a Californian on each team. It might not have stayed that way, but when you're in fourth grade here, you have to study your California missions. We'll see how this goes. There are 21 California missions. I want you to name 10 of the missions. 
We demand a mono rules on you on our team. <laughs> mono rules. Not mono rules. 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 You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We will revoke the right for you to enter our house. It's only 21 <laughs> if you choices, though. Yeah, no, you should be fine. Enough. It's not no, a big we're doing it pool. mono rules. It's not big enough. Yeah, to twenty one is too small. Oh, you guys are awful. Larry, <laughs> everyone's at zero. We're for doing mono rules with thirty things. Last time. All right, all right, without mono rules. Darn. Yeah, you got to get up in the submission. <laughs> yeah, that's what I asked last time, and I still don't know. All right, so no mono rules because we have given in. All right, <laughs> let's put you back to your rooms and go and play nice. All right. You can do this. I promise you, you can do this. Even you people who are not in California, you can do this. I have my eyes on you. I'm looking at you. Go to your rooms. Go, 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 go. One that I know. The one that I know, the San Juan Capistrano. Yeah. Yep. That's where the birds came there? back. That's the end of the swallow. Keep coming back. San Francisco has one. San Jose Six. has one. Does San Jose just... have one, or is that the one in Santa Clara? I was thinking Santa Clara. I thought San Jose had its own, but we can take it off the list. I wasn't saying eliminated, but I was confirming Santa Clara. San, there is one San Rafael in LA. has one? What? Doesn't San Rafael have one? Yes, I believe that's the northernmost one. Juan. <laughs> so it's J U A N. <laughs> no, it's Juan. You said Juan. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. San Juan, what? Um, Batista. Um, need one more. San Diego. That's what it's called? San Diego? Yeah, I think so. Mission San Diego. School system in California. Um, all the children in California have to build a mission when they're in the fourth grade. I missed yeah. that. I missed it. I didn't have to do it. But my you kids didn't have to do it. No, my kids didn't have to do it. I think they just drew a book or something. I'll have to ask Cassie. Oh, God. My they didn't have to build it, but it. I remember seeing that. <sighs> You go by the kid at Michael's or someplace. You know? And and these missions end up getting built by the parents. Oh, yeah. I did the one for Casey. It was really yeah. a lot of fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so my stepmother did mine. So it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I painted right. it. Uh, it was a lot of, you know, it, it, we did the San Inez one. And I'd never been there before. And after we did it. And, and we we studied it. There's like all these different versions because they they expanded it and stuff. We went down there for a bike thing one time, and we walked around in it. I felt like I was walking around inside the model. Oh, neat! It was like, look, there's the little oh. cross on the outside. There's the little cactus that we made out of little things. <laughs> oh, the, I want you know, a grandchild so I can do this. I <laughs> not nobody. I didn't even do it. My own kids didn't do it. They didn't do it. They went to a school that probably didn't yeah. do that because we didn't have money and they what nobody school did they go to fremont east salinas oh that's probably why is it probably we had we had kids in in casey's class that made it out of gingerbread like a gingerbread house you had so, rich kids so that one didn't cost any use well no, your kids one of your kids went to york yeah, yeah right. and i mortgaged my house to do it oh. <laughs> but in elementary school they went to fremont Okay. Yeah, no, there was there were a lot. One, the the really the extreme one was a woman who really just had nothing but time and money, um, bought Legos that they could <laughs> a completely accurate version of. Oh they, man, they, I hate they, her already. Like, yeah, I think they did the San Francisco mission, and did, I mean she got the right. Oh, colors, San Francisco. There's one. San Francisco. And she got like the name. I. Who's this doing? Yeah. San Diego is going on our fucking list. We, you're, you're the only group that doesn't have a Californian on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we don't know what a mission is. We don't is. know what the fuck a mission is. No. Sorry. That's okay. You guys will be fine. You won't hate me for long. You'll have forgotten by next week. I will remember as I stew over. Forever and ever.
I will, re uh, I will remember you. You will remember me. Don't uh, I, I, you I just got the wordle in five because I knew the I didn't know the ah, second, the I didn't know the second letter. And there's like five letters that could go in the second spot. Do you wordle, Susan? No. <laughs> Do you wordle? Susan, 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 we have questions. What could you have a question about? I'll be right. I'll be right back. All right. Is the city good enough, or do you want the name of the mission? Name of the mission. Well, name ten missions. Name I ten. I think the question should have been: city. There are twenty-one California missions. Name ten of them. Is that what you meant? Okay. Name ten. Of them. Yeah. Here's an example, Susan. Okay, down in Halone, just down south of us, there's a mission, but it's not called Mission Halone, and I can't think of the name. Do we have to have the name? Um, I think that in your own little mind, you will be able to just say, that's that's the one I had, and I won't know a difference. Okay, okay. well, let's not do that one, just in okay, case. We okay, we won't. We'll stay I with San we'll Gabriel, so we're good. Yeah. You did it? Yeah, we did it. Did, who, did oh, you guys Alan knew them all. Alan knew them all. Knew them all, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, so did I, of course. Uh, well, I know because we're going to pass them all. Gary was in California for a while. How long well, I, knew, I knew one. How, was, how long were you here for, Terry? 28 years. And did you grow up here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have to do a mission? In no, Ukraine? never. Nope. That's impossible. You didn't study nope. missions? No, we did not. I just I went to the one in San Juan Capistrano, so that's how I know. Karen, did you like, have to do it? I would like to say something about the missions, the mission bells. There is uh, El, uh, El Camino Real. There are these mission bells. There are 585 of them along the, the route in uh, California. And they were put up, you know, I don't know, 50 years ago, but there was there was no maintenance, like nobody's in charge of them. When they get hit by a car or they rust and fall over, nobody is for the upkeep. Well, actually the Amun Munson uh, local uh, tribal band is asking that we remove all of those 580 mission bells. Um, and it's a new, it's, an, it's a movement that's going on to take off those markers from El Camino Real, 585 of them in California. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. It's not very popular right now, and for for obvious reasons. But Karen, did you have to do uh, missions in school, fourth grade? My kids didn't. I mean, they, I know they studied them, but the project was to build them. You know, with styrofoam or something. No, we didn't do that. But it, it is taught because I, my landlord is an elementary school teacher, and in his materials, actually above our. Uh, uh, washing machine is a big map of all of the missions because it was part of what he taught in the Alisal district. Right. I don't. I don't remember that we learned about Mexican. Did the Blues Brothers be on a mission from God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I yeah. I'm gonna have to ask. Later. This, I think everybody's kind of back. I'm gonna call you. Crappy all movie. Back. Crappy movie. Oh, it's. <laughs> Karen was our champion. I didn't know any of them. Karen, yeah, well, Karen should. She's well, there's like a million of them, like within ten minutes of here. Now, Karen, have you have you visited the, visited them all? No, I've been to probably seven. I've never been to the one closest to us, Karen. Are I've they been to the Alamo? Are they just chapels, basically? Oh, no, some are in quite, the one in Soledad is uh, in quite disrepair. San, Anto San Antonio, one. that was the one in Halone. I've never seen Well, the Alamo was in Texas. Down. That's a mission. Sort of. It's actually it a, a shop. It's a some are actual churches that are still used as churches. They're just, they're an interesting historical site. But well, that's what the, that's what the war, that's what the battle over the Alamo was. Uh, you know, Santa Ana wanted to go to church and the Americans wouldn't let him. 
So I need to ask a question, Caspian, <laughs> unmute yourself. So I'm trying to remember, and I'm having a hard time remember this. When I went to school in East Salinas, in Salinas, I don't remember studying missions at all. I, I guess there might have been, I, it's a blur to me. I, I'm surprised I managed to get through school at all. I don't think I was paying attention. I think I was asleep half the time. But it, I know that it was a thing where you built missions. The schools yeah. had the students build missions in fourth grade, but I don't remember my kids doing it. And I want to ask Cass, do you remember? Yeah, no, we, we had to build little missions out of like macaroni and stuff. Macaroni, <laughs> really? I don't remember that. Sterling did too? Probably. It, it was basically one of those, yeah, build a mission out of whatever stuff you have lying around the house. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. And I didn't get to help because obviously... I have some limestone. <laughs> my kids wouldn't <laughs> probably have asked me to help. And and Deborah was talking about how she helped, she made her sons and her stepmother made hers. So it was always a parent made the child's. But in my family, my kids weren't going to go there, <laughs> I guess. But I don't remember. Can somebody define what a mission is? Church. <laughs> That's impossible. A Catholic, Catholic mission. Okay, so I, seriously, California Susan, Inquisition. Not, we don't know what that means. I mean, I it's remember. A, you know what a mission is? No, it's, it's, you had the no, same reaction last time. So have, 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 them on the have you ever heard? Have you ever heard of the term missionary? Yes. Yeah. As in, a, I live. someone someone going out to uh, right. introduce. The, uh, my cousin's uh, a missionary and she's a Pentecostal and they just leave from their house. The they petition. don't have a place called a mission. Well, right. that's so, how they found so, in California up and down. Yeah. So when they were going to uh, uh, spread Christianity through California as a, as a missionary um, proposition, they set up missions from which to, to uh, do the indoctrination. I mean, introduction. Oh, was it so all? Is, it, is this Catholic? Yeah. Yes. Oh wow, you really are out of it. Okay. So I, didn't why, really, I thought yeah. you were joking. Do you have like you thought that last time, Susan? Too. I don't get why you don't okay. realize that. So why is this Did only you, in California then? Are they? It's not, it's not only California. Mexico. Mexico. It's, it's not. It's Mexico. Why is it not on the whole entire East Coast? But do you have like a because the trail? because most of it was done by the Spanish, and uh, the yeah. Spanish were not Pretty responsible deep. for the uh, major. Coast. Uh, we're not responsible for the major settlements on the East Coast. So it's a Spanish. Uh, it's they a Spanish probably have some more. Yeah, no one expects a Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. <laughs> missionaries is, is <laughs> definitely a, mission from a God. Christian Who thing. Did these and missions it doesn't have to be Susan, what are the answers? Isn't that yeah. Interesting? yeah. So I'll read them off. I'll read them slow. And then I will put them in the answers in the chat. So you'll be yes, able to see. Okay, so I'm not super particular as like Karen was talking about one and was it the actual city? It might've had a different name. You guys can decide if that was what you, you know, it'll make sense. San Diego. We get all the points. Hey, Ocean, that's our one. Oceanside. Oh, San that. Juan Capistrano, which is where the birds go to. And I think we, that was an answer uh, a couple weeks yes, ago. Uh, yeah. yep. uh, San Gabriel. Oh, I forgot about Gabriel. Los Angeles. Hmm. Ventura. Never heard of it. What? Ventura. 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 Okay. With a V. Ventura. Uh, Santa Barbara. Yeah. Solving has one. I don't remember seeing it, but Solving has one, which is a Dutch community, which is Santa Inez. 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 And I've been down there so many times. Lompoc. I didn't know they had one. Apparently they do. San Luis Obispo. Obispo. So you're giving the names of the cities. Well, that's what these missions are called. San Luis Obispo. Okay. You know, many of these missions are not called by these names. But right. we, uh, we the think that the, the Lompoc one is Santa Ines. No, no that's Santa Ines is Solving. in Solving. Solving. Solving one is Santa Ines. Yeah, so if you said Santa Ines, oh. the and Lompoc, give the name I believe, is city. La Purissima Concepcion. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 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 La Purissima Concepcion. Ooh. Ooh. My son speaks Spanish, but did wait. <laughs> San Miguel. It's adorable. Holon. Which is one that Karen was asking about. The oh, that's nearby, huh? Yeah, um, it's San Antonio. It's Mission San Antonio in Holon. And Soledad, which I don't think I've ever been to, believe it or not. 
I've played music. It's easy there. to miss. It's hard I to find. It. Carmel, which is like a half an hour from me. Yeah. I don't think I've been there. Oh. Everybody talks about how beautiful it is. And I've, I've driven You've by. You've never been there? You should I go don't think it. so. I should. So we'll go. We'll go. It's it just refurbished some of it. Okay. Deborah's yeah. taking me to Carmel. Who wants to go? Let's go. Me. Before the earthquake. San Juan Batista, San Juan Batista, which is one I've been to a zillion times. That's where is that? Hollister. In San, no, it's in San Juan. San Juan Batista, which is near Hollister. Oh, thank you. It's where the hall. That's where the earthquake just we just had. We just had an earthquake. It was San Juan Batista. Mm. It's very close, right? It's right on the the, the, um, right on the fault. San Andreas Fault. Yeah. Now it's everybody wants to go there. Santa Cruz. Santa Clara. I went to school there. Oh. Fremont. 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 San Francisco. San Rafael. And Sonoma. I'll put these what about China. Sanford and Sonoma? What about San Lucas? San Lucas, I think, is known by another name, but isn't there one in San Lucas? Somebody will have to look it up if you have that. What about okay. San Inez? We did that one. Tonight, we got yeah. that one. Okay. San Juan Batista is in one of the best movies ever, which is Vertigo. Have you guys seen Vertigo? Where she falls off the, the best um, movie. Oh, I my don't God, believe incredible. San Lucas is close to a mission. I mean, it's yeah, it's too totally far from Soledad, but it's totally man, totally man. Yeah, totally man, totally man is San Lucas. <laughs> But that's in Guatemala. <laughs> Oops. Wait, what? What is in San Lucas? Uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. The mission. The mission is in Guatemala, so that doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's a California. Miss, that's all right. Sorry, team. That's okay. I hey. shouldn't have been thinking about San about Halone. That was San Antonio, not San Lucas. So San Jose, yes, no. There is a Mission San Jose, but it's in Fremont, California. Okay. There is also Mission Santa Clara, which is in Santa Clara, which you would be uh, forgiven for mistaking as San Jose. The people in Santa Clara would be. So happy. then we're, if we just put San Jose, are we putting the name of the mission or are we putting where uh, it is? Yeah. I, I would there is a mission in San Jose. I think that'd be okay. There is a mission called Mission San Jose, according to Wikipedia. Yeah. Huh. All right, you think you guys got your scores? Let's see how we did. I have the whole thing full for next week, so that's always good. And when these, when these missionaries were, were spreading Catholicism, did they have a certain position? You know, Jay Walk or something like that from each other, weren't they? It's an attempt at a joke. Oh, I, I yes. missed it. He was cutting out. <laughs> it, was a, it, it was a joke about a book. <laughs> Um, by uh, Hitchens. Hitchens. I missed it. All right, here we go. I am going to start with 64. Uh, 10. 10. Wow. Thank you, Leonard. <laughs> the California. And Jamie. Jamie came up with some too. I came up with like zero. So <laughs> it was all those guys. This <laughs> right up. <laughs> Five, because we were guessing cities. Okay, <clears throat> one hundred eight ideas for a name, but we didn't like any of them. <clears throat> Ten. Ten. Whoa. And forty. Because we had me. They had Robin <laughs> and Deborah. <laughs> and they Deborah. had kids and had to go to California. Like, yeah. <clears throat> and slapsism for the splendid centennial celebration. <clears throat> Nothing to drink. What's your score? Uh, nine. Sorry. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry. You, you. And that's a tie a there. So let's see. If the Honey Bee Democracy with Peggy, Kyle, Carl, Janine, Caspian, and Vincent can. How many Californians? Ten. 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 Ten.
tied for second. Yay. I'm on first place team. <laughs> oh, oh, Vincent. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Vincent. Vincent. Happy birthday. That's happy a good birthday. birthday. Just for you. I love it. Who wanted to take a picture of it? Because <coughs> yeah. I don't want me to hold it long enough to take a picture. So what'd you think? Ta da! Oh, Yay! Perfect. I think you should do this all the time. I, I do. Uh, you did great. It goes okay. faster. It was faster. Yeah. I could have sped it up even faster if I wanted to. Yeah, we're, we're done, and it's not even midnight for me. Oh, so that's wow. awesome. <laughs> it's still today. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> easy to remedy. Just everybody, when you're doing things in the future, try to consider that <laughs> don't make the rounds too long. Don't right. have extraordinary long explanations for yes. every question, which goes into the well, history fast, of the fast, fast. Or, yep. yeah. The questions, a lot happen. of the questions I asked were either yeah. you know it or you don't. I think there was right. a, there was no, a was lot good. of reasoning out. I don't think, and I think that will yeah. help. That, that will make it a more concise, enjoyable, exactly. concise. Yeah, yeah. Right. sometimes yeah. overly long questions just make it take video but, but, but or actually, audio. As, Rich, as Richard sort of politely pointed out, a lot of people when they do a category, some it's a it's a concept they're really in love with. So when they give the answer, it might be a very long answer to explain. I think the answers are the problem. Yes. We get so, into that so people want to explain the answers. Them. Or they show the video yeah. and the audio, yeah. which I love, but it does make it run yeah. long. So have, have questions, mm -hmm. have questions that don't have answers. There That's you go. right. No, so, have <laughs> que have questions that you don't care. Well, so, some of the okay. questions can be long too, like when we're That's, dealing with it, and even so though the rounds cool. are fun, but when we're dealing with book title or book quotes and you know things, some of those can be I think really that long. also that if you've got five people doing five different categories, they could all right be yeah. thinking. Yeah, would, would, if you do the whole night yourself, you can say, okay, this one round is gonna be kind of long, but these other rounds are gonna be short. Short, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's it's it is what it is, you guys. I don't know how. I don't think it's a solution, but yeah, we're gonna keep have in mind. Keep in mind, people show. writing categories in the future that maybe at least the answer part to sum it up and just yeah. slap it into the chat or whatever instead of um, spending too much time on it. Even though I really <laughs> enjoy them, so you know. But I'm in California, so I can't complain too much because I mean it's not even ten o'clock here. <laughs> or if you want to give more info, you can be like, "Here's a link for more info if you want it." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like the PowerPoints. I love all the way that looks, but it does take up a little more time. Now, I can, it, we can join you on the phone, right? Uh, is there some people using the, their phones? Hmm? Yeah. It's just a, right. No, because next Thursday, uh, I'm playing West Side Story. I'm, so I'm playing a, a, a thing, but I, th I thought I'd get the last half on, on the way home on the phone. So I can do that. Mm -hmm. Are you on the phone right now? Me? He's on a computer. Who said they were on a phone right now? I'm on I'm, a phone. I'm, but yeah, I also have. A, I have oh, look at it! Your picture at the bottom of the screen, and you answer me way up at the top. I'm like, <laughs> I, I have a phone and a Chromebook. That's what I'm. Yeah, using. yeah. The the Zoom client on on the phones work pretty well, Alan. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You so can you can download the app, Alan. Just put it on your phone, and then you can log in. I think I I think I've done it. So I'll, just I'll, get yourself I'll... a little stand or something that you can mount it to where you can see and they can see you and. Well, I'm going to be driving, so I'm not going to. Oh, watch it on YouTube. YouTube. Be good. If, 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 you, not if you have to be audio only, uh, yeah. watch it on YouTube. Ben, Alan. Make, make sure watch, and put your phone YouTube. sideways so it looks like you crashed, like what happens with Karen sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> She's upside down. Yeah. Just Just watch it on YouTube mm -hmm. and then get in your time machine and go back. Oh. One, one of these days, Karen, when you're doing that, you just need to like hit your phone mod? and have it kind of like fling onto your seat. Oh no, that be would like, stress oh, me out. Yeah. Especially if I knew she was down the street. I'd be like, <laughs> I don't ah. even ever like to watch people that, driving. Get in my car trying to no, find her. It's crazy. I mean, I watch <laughs> too many shows where there's a car crash, like from the perspective of somebody in the car. It happens all the freaking time. What, what are Back the into a packet of ketchup. I'm, I'm curious more. as to the number Look at Bob. of what are you showing us? In car accidents. Bob's got phone. his, oh, he's showing us, he's on the phone. See his phone? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, that we can see really him well. holding the iPad yep. in front of the phone. Yeah, and then that works pretty well. No, I yeah, actually we have, have the iPad have in the phone. In the iPad in the phone. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Hey, I, have, I have Here. the link. I have the there link. There you go. There you go. Is that my name? Me, I got both of the cats. Skeptic Zone cats have leapt up onto the desk. They're just over there because they think it's dinner time. It's not even four o'clock. They've still got a little while to wait. But listen for the Easter egg. This week, Susan. 
what did he what did he record Ooh, exciting listen for the easter egg i always listen to the easter eggs i did not <laughs> always know stay. there I always stay i don't know how i found that there would be easter eggs but i did discover it eventually. do you feed your cat at exactly the same time every day uh within a, a, a window yes so they they begin to know when that time's coming yeah Wow. Uh, my cats have dry food 24 7. They just go get it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you explain? Daylight savings. They got to be 20 pounds. How do you explain daylight savings time 20 pounds? How do you explain daylight savings time to a cat? <laughs> you don't. You just feed them an hour like you earlier. Always or an do, hour later. And then they, they're really they on don't cue. They take a few days before they get used to it. They're always they just hide underneath the mat, maybe, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Girl, cats stop. can't hide. Cats can't hide under mats. Don't be no. silly. No. So I will be going, So I will be um, at the end of April. There might be two or three week Thursdays that I will not be around to be able to run them. I don't think so. Yeah. That Do we might need to be change to a different day. No, I'm going to be gone for like 10 days or more. Oh we take a break. Susan, Susan, we can't do it without you. So well, we oh, Rob, did it Rob handles Rob the thing. Rob I can be there. Yeah, Rob did a great job. <laughs> yeah, he can handle the controls. So, yeah. you know, I mean, we don't have to cancel. But you um, can just have a big, uh, a big hangout and talk about Susan or something. You know. Only yeah, if you record. Yeah. Only if you record. So I think <laughs> that I will be missing just, on the 28th of April. We're, yeah. we're just going to we'll, change your we'll, password, we'll Susan, and we're going to lock Kill you out. <laughs> our Project <laughs> Kill Mary spoiler out. episode, you know, where we all get to talk about it, and Susan won't be here. And, and probably that'll be... <laughs> oh, Monterey County Skeptics is having our pizza thing. Hopefully, we'll we'll go on the 11th. Oh, of I want to go there. I want to be there. Mm. Ever are you going to go? What? I want to be there. The 11th of April? Maybe. I haven't gone for four months. Robin's been going, right? I I didn't go to the last one. I went the, oh, I the two before that, I think. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. April 11th. anybody who's nearby. Good night, guys. 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 I'm going to. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, don't forget, I'll see Adrian tomorrow. We're going to do a mini sting. What? Tiny what? sting. What? We're What's going to attend day. All right. Stop the recording. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. okay. No, it's not a psychic sting. I'm also going to go. Oh. Good night, everybody. We're going to go see facilitated communication. A workshop. Oh. We're, gonna, oh. we're gonna watch that. Such a that's such a horrible oh, thing. Wow. Oh, I know. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna go oh, and attend and watch and film. But this is a it's it's like um it's only an hour long. But next Monday and Tuesday is another. One. We we're gonna actually we're looking for volunteers who want to watch that because I'm gonna be um, busy on Monday. So what is the point of their workshop to teach family oh, members to do it? I think this first one is is uh, the one that's tomorrow. I think it's they're talking about <sighs> presenting it to a group of other educators <coughs> on April Fool's Day. On April Fool's Day, yeah. Oh, and then on Monday and Tuesday, it's a workshop where they're working with people. And that one we're going to infiltrate as we're trying to figure out. I know how to do it, but the problem is the Monday I can't go because I'm going to be doing. I'm busy. All a bunch of the time on Monday, but Tuesday, it's like a two or three hour thing, but um, we'll see if we can figure it out, but we want to record it because there's no sense in just, it. you know, they wanted to just go and listen and take notes. I'm like, well, why don't you just record the dang thing? Because you can record it without having Zoom. And some dinner. So. <laughs> Good night, you guys. Good night, Terry. Happy dinner. birthday, Terry. Thank you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Terry. Terry. Happy birthday, Terry. Happy birthday. And today's her birthday, yeah, Terry. Good. Peggy was yesterday. Where's Peggy? Happy She's April gone. Fool's, everybody. I'm going to go. Yeah, Bye. so Rick, Bye. Richard, how, how is Bye, tomorrow? Richard. How oh, is tomorrow? Tomorrow is, is wet and wet and raining and wet and mold yeah. and damp and wet. Did you get flooded like out? Uh, like uh, areas, areas around here have been flooded out. All right. Stay safe, Richard. All right, everybody. Thank, Thank you. Great. Um, Talk to you. Thank you so much for my 100th game thing i will sign off now and then we'll get this aired up on the thingy thingy oh don't forget don't forget about my birthday on sunday oh yeah his birthday Adrian has birthday. the link happy, happy birthday vincent thank yeah, you happy birthday, happy birthday vincent birthday. Birthday. happy almost birthday happy. have a half a century old so Ooh, i remember <laughs> and you won. I, I can i can no, vaguely 
I can vaguely remember back that part. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh. vaguely. I'm so much Bye. younger than you. I won't be 50 till August. Bye, all. Bye. Good night, everybody.